the nation. This, this. this is Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang, gang capital of the nation. This, this is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Welcome back, everyone, to News with Norbies. And before I introduce my co-host, uh, just some minor announcements. If you guys didn't get a chance to check out the interview with MC8 on episode 338 on Rodeo and Radio, make sure you guys definitely check that out. It's definitely a classic. I love sitting down with West Coast legends and talking straight hip-hop. After all, this is a hip-hop podcast that shines light not only on artists, but on also independent Artists that are looking for their shine, looking for how to get their music out. This is the podcast here. So much love and respect to everybody who supports Rodian Radio, for everybody that uh, blesses us, and uh, uh, everybody who liked, comment, subscribed, everybody's on the live chat, everybody who leaves comments once the video's up. I uh, want to thank all you guys because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Now, if you guys live in Arizona, okay, special announcements, and we'll get into it as soon as we start the show. I'll be in Arizona Saturday at the Super Show. It is the biggest car show. Uh, it used to be held here in L.A. at the Coliseum, but uh, too many dudes were getting deleted, so they had to move it to Arizona. So uh, it's all good over there. So me and High C are going to be performing once again. We're going to be taking the stage. There's going to be more shows coming up soon, so make sure you guys catch us when we start touring. But as of right now, Saturday in Arizona, if anybody's going, when you guys see me up on stage or see me walking around, make sure you guys come up to me. You know, uh, let's take a picture. Let's chop it up. Ask me whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's take a shot. And then after that, we're going to go somewhere, watch the Ryan Garcia fight, and then we're going to get into who I think is going to win. Okay? So much love and respect to all of you guys. So when we open up the phone lines, make sure you guys call in. Make sure you guys ask all the questions. Me, Norbert, and yes, Norbert is going to sing tonight. So back by popular demand, please allow me to introduce a round of applause for Norbert News and Norbies. Hey. hey. Did, Tony, he, did he give us a round of applause? Yesterday? I think he did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So anyways, Norbert, how's everything, bro? It's great. Great, Tony. I mean, it's, it's been a nice, busy week. Uh, Things are happening. Uh, I think, uh, well, this week I think I only had, uh, I did the Marvelous Minds with uh, Marvelous Inc. Oh, okay. Shout out to him. We did, we, we did, we did a show, but YouTube started tripping on us after like, like 50 minutes. Like we went from like hundreds of viewers to like down to like six. I don't know what the hell was happening. Wow. It was weird. But then I checked it out and. I guess it has some sort of glitch. No, but you know what? YouTube is doing that. And for you guys that are starting to podcast or who, who are not familiar with the YouTube glitches, for an example, we had over like maybe about 350 people on the live chat. Now, just because you see people on the live chat and it gives a big number, yeah. usually the people that are not on the live chat is a bigger number. Yeah. Is a bigger number because we average at least a thousand people live. Definitely. Now on the live chat, we'll average maybe three to four hundred. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sometimes five, seven hundred. Yeah. But the people that are not on the live chat, that's a totally different number. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like for an example, we had three hundred and fifty something when MC8 was here. Yeah. When we got off air, I checked my views and it said we had ninety six views. Hey, you know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because that's. It was the same night. It was yeah, same, the same night. night. Yeah, the same yeah. night. So all you YouTubers, honestly, I just think that YouTube is just trying to catch up with itself. Yeah. Because by the next morning, it was already like a 2,500. So it's, it usually doubles in the morning. When yeah. we have 1,000 or 1,500 and one episode, by the morning, it should be about 3,000. It yeah. usually doubles. Uh, yeah. You know, so, but when I saw like 96 people, I'm like, bro, we had more than 96 people on the live chat. Yeah. So yeah, I was just tripping. So believe me uh, uh, when I say that YouTubers who are starting to podcast or are starting to do anything on YouTube, uh, you got to deal with glitches. You got to deal with stuff like Definitely that. Definitely not, man. And you know what? That, that in interview with uh, Mac 8 was dope. Uh, uh, Mac 8 or MC8? <laughs> MC8. <laughs> he said Mac 8. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it was dope, man. I had fun watching that. I was watching it uh, the whole time, too. It was dope hearing his stories. You always, you know, it, it, they when they tell stories, like, 
from back in the days, it reminds you of all the shit that was happening back then. And like, it just, it's not a good memory, but it, it was our reality. Yeah. You know? it, it, but it, cause it gives you a mental picture and it's a, it gives you a, like a nostalgic feel like, fuck, it was like that. Yeah. Like when he said ice cream trucks, you know, I'll be honest, you know, it's the first thing that I thought about. Yeah. Grab bags. Do you remember grab bags? Uh, I, I think I do, but I think it meant something else for me, but. Okay. Grab bag back in the day, at least out here, it was um, a little baggy, yeah. a brown bag. And it just said grab bag and it'll be like either a quarter or 50 cents. Yeah. And whatever's in there is yours. It, it's random. Every bag is differently. The ice cream people uh, truck would make it. Okay. So in there, it could yeah. be a yo-yo. It could be a little puzzle. It could be a candy. It could be a gum. Yeah. So you just kind of like a surprise. What did I get in this grab bag? I think they did that for me in school. Okay. Yeah, they did that in school because that's the only time I remember grab bag. I, I thought you meant like like drugs. Oh, no. That's a different type of bag. <laughs> like yeah. Right. yeah, it's a different type of bag. But uh, so now, as far as the Marvelous Mind, so it, it was glitching during the show? Yes, it was glitching during the show. We were like, what the fuck? Where's everybody? Everybody just disappeared. Wow. But we noticed that other. Maybe it was the rapture. Hey, never know. Everybody yeah. got zapped we, out of we their really thought, We were talking on some serious stuff, too. So we kind of thought, oh, we, we might have said something we weren't supposed to say. Because mm. YouTube does happen to, like, when it hears something it doesn't want to hear. Like, it'll shut you down, too. That's that's one thing we were thinking that might have been a reason. But then we saw most of the other people that were live at that time, and wow. everybody's numbers went down. Wow. I was like, wow. It sucks. YouTube needs to get their shit together. But now, you looking forward to this weekend? Oh, yeah. Arizona, man. Arizona. The last time we were there, it was really fun. The, yeah. It was cool meeting a lot of the people. They were very friendly. I mean, it was just dope, man. And then watching you guys perform, that shit was yeah. crazy. That shit is crazy. I mean, you really, it really takes you back when you see Tony and High C just go on stage and do their thing. And, like, it takes you back to, like, man, that, that's how it used to be. And Performing it, and songs that are back. over 30 years old, bro. Right? And they're still booking us. Shh. Hey, hey, you know what? And I want to say something, and I do not say this. In any way, shape, or form, disrespectful. I'm not. Mm. Because anybody who's trying to make it and is trying to hustle and is trying to get out there, I applaud you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But think about this. In this December, uh, it'll be 33 years since we released that record, 1991. Yeah. Okay? They're still hiring us and giving us the money that we want. Yeah. Our record's over 30 years old. Yeah. And today, new artists have to sell their own tickets just to perform. It's well, I mean, it's, it's tough, man, because the ones that do sound different, they're not really getting a lot of shine. And unfortunately, from what I've seen, the only ones that are getting more shine is whoever's starting controversy, or whoever's starting drama. Yeah, I mean, right now, I guess it's the the three: it's uh, Drake, it's uh, J Cole, it's um, Kendrick. Yeah, because they're just talking shit about each other. And now, I think Rick Ross is coming out of his fucking. Uh, underground cave, hibernation hibernation cave whatever to to this also so i guess we're at that right now where we're i don't know you know what? let's make a diss song you know no let's make up a fake beef between me and you and we'll go live and we'll just this no nah, we'll, we'll throw bombs at each other and you know who who will suffer uh the fans because the fallout <laughs> <laughs> team norby's no team tony <laughs> team norby's nah, and then and then what were we just playing? There's way too many fake podcasters doing that, Tony. I know. I, know. I, I mean, it, it, it's hard to believe anybody believes these people. I know. And they're, because they do that, what you just said. No, they, it's true. They create these fake fights and fake beefs. And I, I feel like uh, a lot, that's what people are doing now. They're all just creating fake beefs just to uh, get numbers. Yeah. Now, for all you guys that have become members at Rhodium Radio, uh, um, once again, all, the, all of you guys that have become members are going to get the performances. Norbert's going to perform it. So if it's shitty footage, blame him. Hey. And then uh, we're also going to get footage of all the lowrider cars. Oh. And that's going to be given to the members only. So they're going to see that first. That's going to be fun. That I'm actually looking for. If anything, I mean, most people, don't, like one thing that I love to do is, is photography and now more videography also. Yeah, so we're gonna. he's going to get our show. Drew Down's going to be there. MC Magic's going to be yeah. there. J Rocks is gonna be yeah. there. Lo the Loonies are gonna be there. Ah, shit. Yeah, so we're gonna get all of that. So make sure you got to become a member. Doesn't cost what, like five bucks to become a member? Yeah. Okay, so that's all I'm saying. Now, you know, the thing is, and I wanna clarify something, because people, you get idiots sometimes that yeah. try to say, leave comments, you're gonna charge us to see, you know, uh, certain, you know, footage. 
Well, yeah, you have to become a member to see it, bro. Yeah. It's just not given to everybody. Well, Nothing's yeah. for free. Well, not only that, but membership is also it's voluntarily. It's you, voluntarily, you, bro. You, 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 people do that of, the, of their heart, and we aim to give content to people that are giving. There, there was a guy that commented, and he put, I can't believe that Tony charges Rasa for membership. Hey. And we're going to get some, uh, hopefully there's girls in bikinis. Oh, this hopefully gonna be a, there's going to be hot ass girls because let's not forget half of the lowrider shirts are yes. <laughs> the hot girls. We're, we're, we're going to make a video, even if it's for five, ten minutes, just of all girls. Hey. All girls. Can you, can, can you turn around? I, you know, I'm holding like, a, I'm holding a camcorder. Uh, no, this is the, the, the I'm gonna get the so I'm going to get so close, you're going to be able to smell it. You can smell it. You can smell it. Yeah. So then we can like, can you turn around? Can you show us your backyard? Can you show us what you're working with? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Members only. Here it is right there. Now make a clap for me. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we're going to have a lot of fun. Now, uh, I think it's Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia are going to fight. Yeah. We're going to try to go see the fight, whatever bar allows us to yeah. go check it out. Uh, are you familiar with either fighter? Uh, Ryan Garcia, he's the one that that's going on that weird conspiracy thing, right? Yeah, bro. What do you think about? It? Do you think it's fake or do you think it's real? He I, he's acting almost like Kanye right now, bro. I mean, he claims he saw the Ark of the Covenant. You know, he claimed he, he's predicting earthquakes. I think uh, I think he is definitely doing the role of those guys like him. The, the unfortunately to be noticed, you got to be a lot weirder now. You got to be weird because everybody that's getting noticed is fucking weird. You got Taylor Swift. Everybody swears she's a witch. You got uh, uh, Doja Cat being all satanic. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. So, so, so let me ask this number. You just can't be talented no more. No, man. And, and it's crazy because I think we, you sent me that, that uh, video of, uh, I think it was, uh, what's his name? The guy from uh, that rocker guy, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne, yeah. Yeah, Ozzy Osbourne saying how we, we don't have uh, the Beatles. We don't have the No, the, no sorry, that was Gene Simmons. Oh, it's Gene Simmons. You're right. It was Kiss. Gene Simmons. Yeah, and uh, it, it's interesting, though, because, and I told you, that's debatable what he was saying, because back then, they didn't have the internet. Back then, they didn't have, uh, well, they didn't have the internet. Right. They had radio, TV. And then they had labels that uh, would connect them with these things, with these platforms, and uh, put them on. And that's all people had. You, I mean, if you didn't hear them on the radio, you didn't hear them. If you didn't see them live on TV, you didn't see it. Uh, but, but, okay, I, I, let me tell you what, what I think he meant, yeah. okay? Pablito, the guy who I interviewed here, yeah. who, whom I said you guys need to check out his interview, he said this. Because he owned a Chicano rap label and his own studio, almost spent a million dollars, bro. Fuck. Okay, in the late nineties, had everybody signed. Okay, uh, Jerry Heller was his uh, was uh, the dude doing all the paperwork. Yeah, he said this: We had Frost, we had La Raza, we had the Sunday afternoons, we had the sitting in the parks, we had La Familias, we had Hell of a, we had, you know, all of these uh, Mexican power in the nineties. Yeah, he said, where are those songs today? Yeah. Do we have any of those kind of songs today? So I'm asking you, do we? No, no. And, well, in, in that genre, no, we don't. Oh, uh, yeah, just stick to that genre. In that genre, we, we really don't. I mean, I could say maybe there's a handful of them that are, are pushing. They're pushing it. But it, they always fail by always talking about their neighborhoods, talking about, you know, just talking about their right. hoods. I mean, that, that that's what really fucks it all up. Right. But, but I think when it came to Gene Simmons, he was just saying we had so many classic rock bands. Yeah. So he said for the last 30 years, who are the classic rock bands? But that, that's the thing is because the industry, in my opinion, is extremely saturated because back then you only had whoever was being put on radio and TV, which was also which was just whatever was in the U.S. Now you like, for instance, I told you last time I listened to international music. Like, nobody in the U.S. is really catching enough of my attention to listen to them from here. Yeah. I'm listening abroad. And now everybody across the country is like that, too. They're listening across the, glo the globe and listening to other people yeah. from different parts of the world. Yeah. Alex, really quick, just a quick reminder. Were you able to get that video that I asked you to download? It, it, uh, don't bring it up yet, but just have it ready, okay? 
Okay. Yeah. Now, um, l l let me know when you have it ready. I don't want. You, I want you to play it after the picture. Okay. If you want to bring up the picture now, let's go ahead and jump into the news. Let's bring up the OJ picture. Lately, uh, Norbert, you know that. Yeah. In the news, uh, we were told that OJ passed away. OJ passed away. Uh, I think of what age was seventy something. I, I think. Uh, I, I I would say eighty two. Was it no? I think it was. He was seventy something. Really? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Look it up right now. Uh, I think it was like seventy one or something like that, bro. I'm not sure, but 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 I know one thing that I know is that he passed away. Okay, so seventy six. Seventy six. So he's in the seventies. Okay, Alex, I want you to put in the poll. Okay, seventy six, sir. Because this started trending again. Make a poll and, and put OJ Simpson innocent or guilty. Hey. Okay, and we're talking about the Nicole. Yes. And is it, was it Ronald Goldman? Yeah, Ron, Ron well, Goldman. Ron Goldman, okay. You, know, you don't have to put their names, but just say innocent or guilty. Is the juice okay. innocent or now, guilty? How old were you, or, or at least where were you, when the verdict was given? Do you remember that day? Yeah, I think uh, I was a... Uh, you say you think or you know? I want to say I think. I mean, time is... It, 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 I don't have an anchor to it, Tony, so okay. it's here and there. Okay. But, but I, I do clearly Do you remember, remember watching it live? Yeah, I recall. It was a, it was a big event because everybody was watching it. it was, were you at where a lot of people were or were you at no, home? No, no, I think I was at home. Okay, let me give you my story, okay? I was at the Paramount Swamp Meet right here in the city of Paramount. Yeah. Okay? There, my mom used to sell there during the, uh, uh, the weekdays. Yeah. And sometimes on the weekdays at the Rhodium, but uh, when the Vermont Swamp Meet on the weekends was closed, we went to the Rhodium. Okay. That was okay. our weekend one. Yeah. And, but during the week, we go to Paramount. All right. So there was a, a guy there, and he's got all these used TVs, and he's got them all plugged in so that people can kind of look at them and say, okay, I'll take this one, I'll take this one. Ah, he was selling them, okay? That's a good way to sell. He probably had maybe about 30 TVs Damn. all turned on, all on the verdict. Shit. Okay. And they, they came in, everybody stand. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you, like 30, 40 people were standing right there yeah. watching. Yeah. Blacks, Mexicans, there was a lot of Armenians at the swamp meet. Really? A, a lot of Arabs were at the swamp meet. And I know because I, I knew them, they were sold right next to my mom. Yeah. Okay. So there was a mixture. Oh, wow. When they gave the verdict and they said, not guilty, everybody goes, oh, sh what the fuck? The only people that were cheering were the black folks. Yeah. And I understand that. Yeah. Okay. There was maybe about four or five. Yes, 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 yes. But all, all like the Armenians and the Arabs, what the fuck? Like they were the ones that were most vocal. This motherfucker, he killed this motherfucker. Is this the right channel? Like, bro, everybody <laughs> was like, what the fuck? Oh, man. But, okay, now I have a story that yeah. I want to share. Yeah. There's a guy at the gym, and he's a black man. Yeah. Okay? He, he's still in college as a youngster. Yeah. So we were talking about OJ the other day. Yeah. And I asked him, uh, hey, man, you know OJ died, right? And he goes, yeah. The reason why I'm bringing this individual up, because his father was on that OJ team. Oh. Now, not the dream team that sat with him, but behind the scenes gathering up evidence, you know, against the prosecution. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Here's what he said, Norbert. He said, my father was on that team. And yeah. I said, okay, let me ask you this because it's, it's hard to ask a black man yeah. this question, but yeah. I'm going to ask you, was he guilty? He goes, oh, my father said he was guilty of sin. Oh, I was like, what? Yeah. He, yeah. Goes, he goes, yeah. He goes, he, he was guilty of sin because my father, my father knew that. He said, but Johnny Cochran said it, it is not his uh, business to ask him if he did it because he never asked him. Yeah. Uh, according to his father, he never asked him. Our, our, our duty here is to defend him. That's it. Okay? I, and I get it. He's doing his job. Yeah. Okay? But he said this. OJ always had, like, bad hands, and they would swell. Yeah. Oh. And they would swell. When they found that out, he also had bad knees that would swell. Yeah. When Johnny Cochran found that out and knew he was going to take the glove, uh, a couple of weeks prior, he told him to stop taking those. Yeah. So when he put on the glove... His hands were swollen. Yep. I would have never have known that unless they told me that. Damn. Okay. And then he said they were lucky that they were able to get a lot of the evidence dismissed. Yeah. Dismissed. Yeah. He said that could have hurt him. He said like he had a wig. Yeah. He had $10,000 cash when he was in the Bronco. Yeah. And the, the, the gun. Why would you do that? Yeah. 
they were able to get it dismissed. Like so much shit. He said, but my father knew that that he was guilty. I, I could see the the gun being dismissed, the money being dismissed. That 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 really has no connection to. That but you case. think so? Yeah, you, no connection. I mean, you, you a black man on the run. <laughs> he's not gonna have cash on him. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars cash, a wig, and a gun. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bro. Come on. I mean, the thing is, you know. Okay, no, no, innocent that, or you know guilty what? in your eyes? Yeah. Innocent or guilty? I mean, from his paperwork, innocent. But let me ask you this, Tony. You said that that's what he said. Why, after all these years, nobody has brought that up about the hands and the knees? I, I don't know. No, nobody's brought it up to me. That's what I'm saying. That was the first time I ever heard of it. But that's that, And that's the crazy part. You would think somebody would have already leaked that out. Yeah, and then uh, he said that Shapiro fired uh, or never wanted nothing to do with Johnny Cochran after that yeah. because he didn't want to play the race card. Mm. And that's what Johnny Cochran did. You know, yeah. when, you, if you don't fail, you must acquit. And then he throw on the little, the little, yeah. you know, whatever. Uh, you know, it's cool. I get it, bro. Yeah. I get it. Look, to me, it doesn't matter if he was innocent or guilty. But what I, what I saw, according to the evidence, yeah. I thought the guy was guilty because I don't think it led to anyone else. No other arrests were ever made. But that's just our unprofessional perspective. Yeah. Well, I mean, I told you there was a, there was a, a, a PI that was investigating it also, uh -huh. and he goes on record saying that, from his knowledge, from him, from what he knew, there was a, a serial killer in L.A. at that time. I never heard of him. But the thing about this serial killer is that he was one. He was a serial killer for hire. Now, you know who I asked when we were off camera? Yeah. Gil Carrillo, oh, the, yeah, yeah. the guy who helped bring Richard Ramirez to yeah, justice. Yeah. I asked him, innocent or guilty? He goes, oh, they made a circus. That guy's guilty of sin. Same thing, bro. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, but I, I, that's really tough, though, because we're talking about a guy that didn't care about motives, didn't care yeah. about oh, just evidence. Now, Well, there's evidence. That, and that's the tough part when somebody just, you know, emotionally right. says, ah, he was guilty as hell. But, look, compared uh, to like, well, here are the actual facts and the evidence. He definitely did that. Look, look, I don't know OJ, bro, and I don't really care, but that's just my unprofessional opinion yeah. from what little I know, from what I saw. I thought he did it. I don't think that um, um, it was anybody else, but I will say this, um, two things. I want you guys to look up. Um, OJ wrote a book. I think it was called, and I'm paraphrasing it, If I Did It. Yeah. But you, you're familiar with that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what here the one he said uh, he fucking broke uh, Kim Kardashian's mom. Yeah, yeah, okay. He wrote a book, and then he had <laughs> he had an interview. I need you guys to look this up if you guys got time to burn, okay? Where he gave a he does an interview, Norbert, where he answers hypothetical questions. Yeah, and the lady asks him hypothetically, if you would have done it, how would you would have done it? And he says, he says this instead of saying, "Well, I would have done it this way," he said, "Well, I pulled it to the back." And I opened up the gates, and there was Nicole. Yeah. And I started arguing with her. And I'm like, bro, this is supposed to be a hypothetical scenario. Yeah. I started arguing with her, and then I start doing, start doing things. And then Ron shows up, and then he tells me he's going to kick my ass. And I'm thinking to myself, you, you're going to kick my ass? How do you think to yourself in a hypothetical scenario? Yeah. But that's a real interview. You guys can check that out. So and then, I, I do want to say this. I do believe, Norbert, that evidence was planted. That's okay. a possibility. And I'm going to tell you why I think. Yeah. I think that they had enough to, to arrest him. Yeah. But I think that these cops yeah. just went ahead and went like this. Let me just drop a couple of more extras. Hey. Now, th that's wrong right there, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Th that right there is a setup. If yeah. they did that, that's a setup. Let me throw some more on his sock. Yeah. Let me throw, like, okay, if you had enough, why you have to throw more? That's where I think they planted shit. It's, it's a possibility. I think that actually did happen. Yeah. Some of those cops actually got in did trouble. Did some time. Yeah, they got in trouble for that. Yeah. I well, mean, at, at the end of the day, if you, if you were OJ, you're a black man married to a white like, white girl, right? Yeah. You got a Jewish guy living with you guys. Yeah. If at any moment you thought about deleting both of them, I, I got to believe that somewhere in the back of your head, you already know they're going to point the finger at you. Absolutely, bro. And I got I to gotta, I gotta believe that OJ is not that dumb enough not to realize. I think he is that dumb. That they're going to blame me. Because when he went to Vegas and tried to get his belongings back, 
Bro, he knew they had fucking cameras. He knew and still walked in there with a fucking gun. You know, so whatever. But now I'm going to play a video. That was, that okay. was all bad. In well, this I'm going to play a video and I want you guys to listen to this. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me know when you're ready. Go, get, go ahead and play it. This is him. Did you do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Nope. Did not do it. After we finished filming, OJ said to me that uh, he had a surprise for me, and I genuinely was surprised. I think it was his idea of a joke. And this is it. <laughs> okay. No, Bert. You want to give your reaction? You know what? That looks like a fucking... Uh, not a uh, not a, a good troll, but a troll. Because at the end of the day, he knows every single white and Jewish person sees him as a murderer. G- give me your he, reaction. Okay. It, you're going to play around with that? Even though your ex and the mother of your kids was brutally murdered and you're saying you're innocent, but you're going to go ahead and still play like that? Yeah. Wow. You got to realize... They were going to destroy his life. Had he been found guilty. But why would he do had, that if had, they're going to destroy had, his life? Had he would have been found guilty, he would have been in jail probably 25 to life. That's two lives. He probably would have done two life sentences. Okay, Alex, I want you to chime in. He would have been screwed. Oh, life hold on. over. Hold on. Alex, what do you think? Do you think once you're found not guilty, do you play around like that, bro? You, you could, honestly, if you're found not guilty of something, they can't charge you again. I understand that. So, I'm talking about this. So if, if his you humor wanted to talk about it, then you can talk about it. And I'm even take as a as hypothetical yes. situation, he probably <laughs> did because he needed money and they probably offered him a lot of money to do it. Oh. Or he probably needed, or he was probably that's a good broke point. and needed some money. That's a good point. I don't understand you two. That, no, that's a good point because that's what a lot of podcasters are doing. They're telling other podcasters, hey, let, you let, don't let, do let, that. Let, let's turn this into some dramatic stuff. You play around. You do this you on the don't, camera. You don't do if, that. If people Period. are doing, if people don't are play doing around that like now, that. I'm pretty sure. Ratings were probably low. Yeah, ratings were low. They wanted to sell it. They wanted the subscribers. Oh, I mean the, the ratings. You, you guys make me want to get drunk. It's it's like the uh, movie uh, Rollerball. Oh, take, take your dad's off. <laughs> you know how they <laughs> They just want the view. But you know what? He, Alex brings up a good point. How do we know they didn't put him up to it? Hey, pretend you're going to stab me when we, I open the door. Okay, look, if somebody asks me that, yeah. and the mother of my kids is dead, brutally dirt, out, fuck you. Yeah, remember, he was an actor, too. At the end of his career, he was an actor. He did Police uh, Squad. Okay, he did okay. The Naked Gun. So would you do it? Would no. you do it? Okay. That, see what I'm, I'm talking about? I'm not OJ, though. <laughs> I'm not the juice. I ain't black, I'm OJ. Hey. <laughs> Jay Z said that. Okay. Uh, okay, let's read the poll. Read my poll. Hey. <laughs> okay. Nine minutes ago, 120 votes. The question is OJ Simpson. Uh, 76% said uh, guilty. And 24% said innocent. Damn. Okay. But th- that's good. We, you know what? We provide a platform where yeah. people can pretty much say how, yeah. what they feel. Okay, uh, Alex, now I'm going to ask you. Please do not go around, dance around the question. <laughs> it's either yes or no. <laughs> innocent or guilty in your eyes. Innocent. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We, we, we gotta go by the paperwork, Tony. I'm going by the paperwork. Go by the paperwork. Okay, I'm gonna go by the civil case paperwork then. He was found guilty. He was. That's, he, that's other paperwork. Now that, that, but that's liability. That's like an insurance thing. All right. He was found liable that maybe, they got maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't him maybe it was the result of something he did maybe it was AI well that that was the that was the whole thing that it was his fault that they got murdered it wasn't his fault it wasn't him that murdered them but the case said that it was his fault that they got murdered not really saying that he did it but it was because of him they got murdered okay let me ask you both of you guys say he's um he's pronounced um. Innocent, okay, like like he was yeah. from the from the criminal case. Yeah. Say uh, you go to a bar late at night. Yeah. Hypothetical scenario for you two, uh, Alex. You you're by yourself. You're by yourself. Not okay? the Blue Oyster. Whatever bar. 
you walk and he walks in and he's by himself too. Yeah. And he walks up to you. This is maybe about a month after his trial. And yeah. he says, Hey, what's up, buddy? Could I sit down next to you? Buy you a drink. Would you chop it up with him? Yeah. Okay. It's would the you, juice. Would you chop it up with him, Alex? Yeah, why not? Okay. So now, say he looks at you and goes, you know who I am, right? What would you say? I'm like, yeah, this, you're the juice. Okay, so I'm OJ and I'm going to ask you this. And I'm asking you this too. Yeah. Think I did it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking what I know. I wasn't there. What, That's what I would tell him. Okay, what if he told you? Ask me. Did you do it, juice? Yeah. Okay. Would you still chill with him? I mean, it, it wouldn't be the first or the last that I've ever chilled with somebody. Told go me ahead, that. Alex. <laughs> if, if he said, yeah, I did. Now that I know. <laughs> what would you say? Hey, man, I've known a lot of people said that said that they That's what I was saying. You're asking that. people that know people that. that <laughs> yeah. hey, you're the wrong to ask that question. I know people that say they kill shit, and I don't know. You guys are lame. I don't ask no questions. <laughs> what are you going to do if some, if some dude that you know told you that? And you're like, oh, okay. Well, I knew who had bodies on them, bro. I didn't have to ask. That's them, what I'm saying. You know. But anyways, let's go. <laughs> Give me a good one, Norbert. Give me, before we end the show. <laughs> well, you know what? I want to start out with a good ins- inspirational story. Uh, this happened in Pennsylvania. A manager at a Taco Bell saved the baby. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, a Taco Bell manager in uh, Richboro, Pen- Pennsylvania. Uh, this lady, she, she went for her, you know, her Taco Bell fix. She had her 11 week old son with her. She went through the drive through. She noticed that he wasn't, he was having trouble breathing. Oh, wow. And, and, and to a point where she, I, I guess the baby stopped breathing and she started screaming. And as soon as, as soon as, um, as soon as the, the, the drive through uh, person heard her screams, took the fucking thing off, ran outside, started performing CPR on the baby. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And uh, thankfully, because of the heroic deed, the baby survived, started breathing. Awesome. I mean, this is the only kind of stories that Taco Bell puts out there, man. Shout out Taco Bell and uh, that manager from Pennsylvania. Great job. I mean, there's literally, there's literally nothing Taco Bell can't do. Back to you, Tony. I was there when you saved that wino's life. Remember, he was gagging, and you give him mouth to mouth, and he goes, "Hey, what are you doing?" That rumors get started, Tony. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, let's bring up the 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 influencer. Okay, many of you guys might have heard of this person right here, and I'm waiting for Alex. Uh, he's very slow. There he is. Oh, That's it. Wait. That's it. Oh, there you go. Okay, go ahead and read me that caption, Alex. It says, L.A. woman who killed husband was controversial astrology influencer disturbed by the eclipse. Damn. So she was kind of blaming the eclipse. So let me read to you a little bit what happened. Her name is Danielle Johnson was worried about the eclipse. The astrology influencer and divine healer who went by the name Danielle Ayoka online called the up and coming astronomical event the epitome of spiritual warfare, okay? And told people they needed to pick a side in post on X, which is Twitter, yeah. on April 4th, okay? A few days later, in the early morning before the solar eclipse, Johnson left a trail of tragedy in her wake. Her partner, her partner stabbed to death in the kitchen of their Woodland Hills apartment, which was her man. Yeah. She deleted him. Stabbed him to death, bro. (laughs) That shit, okay? You don't play around with that. Her eight-month-old baby dead after being pushed from Johnson's moving Porsche on the 405. She had some money, huh? She had two two daughters. One of them was holding the baby. Yeah. And then while she was driving, she opened the door and pushed him out, bro, on the 405, okay? And Johnson herself dead after crashing her car on Pacific Coast Highway in Redondo Beach. Yeah. They said she was going by 80 miles per hour and she just went right into a fucking tree, bro. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, holy crap. In the aftermath of the shocking string of violence, new details have emerged showing that Johnson was a recording artist with an interest in new age healing techniques who posted and reposted anti-Semitic screeds of conspiracy theories. 
found by investigators strewn about the Woodland Hills apartment, terror cars and black feathers. So, Jeez. so what happened was that morning, I guess she woke up, stabbed her, her man. Yeah. Stabbed him many times. Okay. Took the babies on the four or five freeway the, with the daughter holding the baby. Yeah. She, that girl, the influencer yeah. opened yeah. the door, kicked them out. Yeah. While, while driving. While driving. On the 405, the little baby, bro, rest in peace, was ran over by yeah. a car. And the one who lived was the other daughter. I believe she was eight years old. Yeah, minor and, injuries. Yeah, and she crawled to, to, yeah. to, uh, to, the, uh, to a safe place. That's a miracle that she only had yeah. minor injuries. It, it, that's a miracle. So let's keep, I, I, they didn't put her name, but let's keep that daughter in prayer. Uh, my thing, Norbert. The fuck you think happened? You think it was the eclipse, or do you just think she was just fucking sick, bro? I think she burned the right kind of sage. Really? Elaborate. Elaborate <laughs> Well, you know what? It, it, this is the thing, man. Some people, they unfortunately, when they start these kinds of practices, as far as astrology, they, they, some people take it too far, and uh, it leads them a different way. You know, astrology, it's all based on uh, Egyptian, you know, society. Most people don't even know that it goes that far back to the Egyptians. That's where they were. That's where all these signs came from. But unfortunately, some people mix it up with, uh, with some signs with satanic stuff. Yeah. They mix it up with things that it has literally nothing to do with it. Many people practice it differently. Many people practice it differently. They, they, it gets, it gets uh, saturated with different practices yeah. when in fact it's what the egyptians used to look at the stars that's why we know which star means what zodiac sign right the egyptians had this map on their in their pyramids but some people unfortunately mix it up with satanic stuff and other spiritual stuff and they get lost in it they 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 yeah. it fucks with their minds they start carrying stones with them they start wearing these these blue eyes I don't know if you've seen those. I seen those. They start and, wearing it. And in many cultures, they have the eye, the ojo. But you notice that it, it actually does the opposite effect. It actually brings more people. It brings more negativity. Yeah. Like that, because from what I've seen, people that wear that, all it does, it actually just does the opposite. Yeah. yeah. But and she's she's the case where maybe she, she was under, I mean, I don't know her past, but I, I want to say that maybe she was under... She she was under some type of medication. I gotta believe she she already had mental problems. Yeah. For because what she did, I mean, you had to have had a super mental breakdown, or you had to have some sort of mental health problem where you ended up believing things like the eclipse was going to destroy everything. Right. You know what I want to know is this: not that it's a big deal because this man is gone. Did she stab him while he was asleep? Because you would think if he's a bigger man, yeah. you'd be able to fight this woman off. Well, from the report, it says that uh, they were arguing. Uh -huh. They were arguing, and uh, I think she, I think the husband was already like already uh, suspicious, or not suspicious, but he was already worried that she was uh, going extreme. And from that argument, she she grabbed the I guess, I'm gonna say the kitchen knife, yeah, and just started going wailing at him like. Uh, and the crazy part is that she actually dragged his body outside, yeah, tried to put it in a dumpster, but she couldn't lift the body anymore, because most people don't know when you know dead weight is it, 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 a lot it, more. It's a lot more. So she ended up dragging the body back to the apartment. We're making a big old streak of blood up from. I mean, and think about this. And the daughters must have seen that. They bro. were seeing it. They were. So it, it was a shocking moment for the, the babies. I mean, it, it was all bad. And, and it just goes to show you, you know, you, people really need to check on their friends. And, and they're, if they're going way too far with this astrology stuff. Or whatever kind of. Even if it's religion, bro. Because some people turn cuckoo. Yeah. Yeah. No. And and I tell, and then, and I put this video up about about fake friends. Fake friends are always gonna say tell you positive shit. Yes, a real, man. Uh, yes, yes, man. A real friend is gonna tell you. You know what? You might be taking it a little too far. Uh, that doesn't really look good. And those those real friends are willing to risk their relationship, their friendship yeah. by keeping it real. Yeah, Alex. Anything you want to say on that? No, it's just sad. I mean, hmm. people gotta. Uh, People got to, I don't know, they take stuff like that too serious. And, I mean, I guess when you start following your 
you you start making decisions off that stuff, you know, like then. Well, 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 one guy, one guy, really quick said something interesting to me, and I'll just say it just for the hell of it. He DM'd me and he goes, "Do you believe by her doing those tarot cards, astrology, she might have opened up a portal? Something came in, possessed her, and that's what took over." And I said, "Interesting. That's good." Yeah. I mean, I mean, we don't know. That's why we give you the ghetto news from an unprofessional perspective yeah, because we're not professionals. Yeah, that's. A, I mean, that is a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Any, anything's possible. When you do practices like that, where you open yourself up to, to anything, yeah, shit like that could happen. Yeah. That's okay. For mental health issues. Maybe. There you go. Mental yeah. health. On issues. top of that. On top of yeah. that, possibly even medication. Yeah. All right, you can take that down. There's a lot of factors in all this. Go ahead, Norbert. All right, let's uh, let's turn this uh, frown upside down. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think we're we're all not we're not uh, really all that shocked about what Catholic priests have done or still possibly doing. Uh, this next uh, priest is uh, no different. Uh, located in uh, Poland, Europe, uh, this Catholic priest decided that uh, he wanted to throw the biggest orgy ever. The priest. The priest. Yes. Like it's orgy, not, that's not symbolic or something else. He's talking about a literal. Full on orgy. Butt naked, heels butt up naked, in the air, everything. Man on man. Titty swinging and everything. Balls jiggling, balls and all. Balls and all. No titties. Fuck. No titties. Uh, okay, who's he going to invite? The nuns? No, 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 no. It's just all dudes. Dudes? Yeah, it's just all dudes. No, you a damn lie. It's all dudes. It's so it, all dudes. It was a weenie roast. It was a weenie roast, and uh, I guess. This guy, this uh, this priest decided that he wanted to uh, feed the uh, feed one of the the dudes uh, fucking horny pills. You mean like the rhino pills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wanted to feed a dude that? Yeah, he he did, and uh, apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently you could take too much of it because uh, this guy started like uh, having uh, convulsion problems. He's, he 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 just started like not feeling good. Uh, the friends of the guy, you know, wanted to call the cops, but the priest kicked them out. Next thing you know, they eventually did call the cops. Cops came. They found the, they found the guy. He, he wasn't doing too well. Uh, for some reason, uh, the bottom half of his body was uh, somewhat mutilated. What the fuck? What do you think was going on there, bro? I don't want to know, Tony. No, no. This is the ghetto news. You need to just <laughs> open up. <laughs> That's not where we're getting started. Anyway, but you know, because of this, the the priest did get uh, eighteen months. Oh, okay. They gave yeah. him eight, they gave him eighteen yeah, months. That'll teach him. That'll teach him. Uh, he did have to pay uh, three thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars. He just take that from the offering bucket. <laughs> now, now that since the court made him pay, the, is this the the guy technically a hooker? Okay, how many men were there? Do you know? Uh, from the story, they only mentioned two guys. They don't really mention the other. Well, how people. was that an orgy? Well, like I said, they don't mention the other people. Oh, they don't mention. They don't mention. They just mention the the guy and then the guy's friend. The guy with the horny pills. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the priest had the horny pills. Okay, was there any sex going on, or was it just butt naked? You know, they, they, they didn't disclose that information. They just said they it was an orgy. They didn't really go into they, detail. They were, and I don't blame them for not they, they going were, into detail. No, they need to on. go into details. They were probably 69ing, doggy style, froggy style, all missionary, definitely missionary. Come on, Norbert. Stop fucking lying. Your ears are not virgins, okay? Stop. Okay? So, yeah. So, in orgy, there were, there were tacos de lengua, cabeza, chicloso, all of the, all of the above. Okay? It smelled, it smelled like a fucking... Passage fest. Feeding each other communion wafers. <laughs> Con chili limon. Oh, there was chili. <laughs> there was chili for sure, but... <laughs> Fuck, bro. So the priests were all butt naked. You know what? It wasn't even rhino pills. It was Viagra. You know what? It, like, it, you know how they make the video memes on, on, on Instagram? And they put... En el Padre del Hijo del Espíritu Santo. They need to make a reel with that, of Jeez, that orgy. Because those motherfuckers are make a mockery of the church, bro. So might as well just clown those bastards. Yeah, well, he, they did, uh, they did uh, take away his uh, clergy uh, privileges. He's no longer a clergy. He's not part of the church anymore. They did give him the boot. That'll teach him. That'll teach him. He'll just do another orgy at home. He'll probably go to, like, Asia or something and uh, start a new church. 
Hey, we may go to South America. Alex, what Africa. do you think of that? The church orgy. That's terrible, man. That's it? Sad. It is. It is. Because, like, where you supposed like, if w- once you hear so many stories about the church, like, there's so many stories, it's scary a little bit, you know? Like, who would want to send their kids there when there's always a 50 50 chance that there's, like, murderers or, like, fools that touch your kids and shit? And I don't know. It's just bad. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's better. We probably just do it at home. You know what? Better yet, check out Pastor Rocha's uh, ser- sermons instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay at home and check out his sermon. They're really good. I now, tap now, in from time to time. Here's one thing that I do want to say, because when stories like this come out, you get idiots that say, you see, that's why I don't want to read the Bible. Does that have anything to do with the Bible? No, no. That has to do okay. Well, uh, don't, don't do that. Well. <laughs> well. All, all right, Cosido. <laughs> well. well. Okay. What, what was his name? Cosiso? Or? Well, I mean, it, it does, Tony. It really does have to do with the Bible. I mean, they were just waiting for God to smite them. Okay. I, I can agree with I, that. I, yeah, I think you, you, you can see where I'm going with that. All right. Cool. Uh, <laughs> which was next, Alex? <laughs> I, I forgot How which one. How I, I, I think it was the teacher, right? Or no? Oh, the, okay, let's go with that guy. Let's go with that guy. Okay, can you read us? Is there a, a caption on there, Alex? Yeah, the caption says, a trans-identified male athlete just dominated the girls' 200-meter varsity at the Sherwood Need for Speed Classic. Okay, so this is a man who couldn't compete with other men. Yeah. Just said, I identify myself as a woman and raced, okay? And according to this caption right here, Aiden Gallagher. Aiden. Gallagher. Gallagher, a male-born athlete who identifies as a girl, set a new record after easily defeating his female competition hey. in the tw- 200-meter varsity at the Sherwood Need for Speed Classic. Hell yeah, let's give him a, a clap. No, give him a booze or no. tomatoes. <laughs> I thought you were going with that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, no, I'm going with that. So now... You, now um, Alex, okay, so he identifies himself as a woman, so that will be, make him a trans woman, okay? Because he transitioned to a woman, but he's a male. Is that is that how it goes? Yeah, I thought he just that, identified. That's no, it. That's it. No, no trans, because trans, you got to no, change. No, trans, it says trans right here. A trans identified male. That's what it says. That doesn't make sense. Look, I read it. No, I, I, I see it. I see it. I see it. But I mean, I'm just saying it doesn't make sense. Alex, I need you to ask a poll, okay? Would you allow your daughter to compete against uh, men? Let's just call it that. But in reality, uh, trans, oh, well, these men that identify as women. Is it fair or, yeah, is it fair for women to compete against, uh, I guess, Trans women. Trans. Well, would you allow your daughter to... I think that you were asking Alex, right? Yeah, he something, but he's going to word it differently. Oh, okay. No, let me ask you this. Do you have a son or a daughter? Which one is it? Son. Son. Okay. Say you had a daughter. Would you allow her to, to race against a, a boy who just said one day, I'm a fucking girl? Knowing that your daughter has trained, bro, for this. And this dude just whips her. Is that fair? No, it's not fair. But I'm just saying, Tony, where are the, the, those days when we used to have Tanya Hardings, you know? Okay, but it's not fair, right? No, nah, it's not fair. Okay. Would you do anything against it? Like, hey, but you know what? I mean, well, what can you really do, Tony? The, the women ask for this also. And that's a great point, Norbert. But before we get to that, yeah. because they, they, they want women equality, they want this for women. Yeah. And then when this guy comes along and dusts them, then they want to cry out and say, that's not fair. Yeah, they fucked themselves. You know, it's kind of like that one dude that, that won the swimming, yeah. remember? Walked into an all girls yeah. strip, his fucking schlong falls off. Then they fucking, um, you know, they, they, they complain, but yet you were supporting this. You guys wanted this. Yeah, that's, that's equality, right? Oh, God. Uh, Alex, I know you don't have any children, but if you had a daughter, would you allow her to run against a trans woman? Yeah, I wouldn't see that as being fair. 
I would. Yeah, you would. I wouldn't. Or you I would, wouldn't. I would not see that as a fair competition. Yeah, I couldn't either. Can you imagine if your girl was into boxing or MMA? Yeah. And it's, it, it could this fucking idiot that couldn't compete with men, but all of a sudden he's a woman because he let his hair grow out. Yeah. You know, and all, and he wants to fight your daughter. Nah, dude. Nah, these were dudes that couldn't compete against other males. So they want to come and compete against women. Look, I'm for women's rights yeah. when it comes to what's fair. But you had a great point, Norbert, when you said women, many women wanted this. Not yeah. all women. Yeah. But you want to you elaborate a little bit on that? Well, I mean, but, there, was, there was a whole the feminist movement that they, they, it's been going on for years. And it really has been their downfall since they started that because... They really, they, 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 they really didn't see, couldn't see into the future that men could exploit that and enter into their field. Yeah. They, they couldn't see it. And because that's the thing, you know, and these women that started these feminist movement, they, it was about pride. And, and as we all know, pride just fucks you over. Yeah. You know, and they fucked them over because even though they're, those, these women are not competing anymore, the women of the future and the present are the ones suffering because of what they pushed. Pride don't mean what it used to. Pride don't mean what it used to. Yeah. Good, you you know, good. Pierce Morgan, do you ever watch him? Every once in a while, I watch some Is of his clips. Is that the 007 guy? No, Pierce Morgan. Uh, uh, what, it's Morgan, he, he does the news out in Europe. Oh. He does a lot of interviews. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're talking about Pierce Bronson. Ah, uh, that, that is that, yeah, that, that 007? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pierce Morgan, he, he's a journalist, yeah, yeah. okay? And he asked these women that were about, about this feminist movement. Yeah. And he said, you know, uh, you know, Floyd Mayweather is one of the world's best boxers out there. Yeah. If he ident wanted to identify as a woman, would you women be okay with him, with him, one of the greatest ever, to fight women? And he go, well, yeah, if he met our guidelines, yes. And he's like, wait, 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 what? Yes. Okay. Then he said he would take it a step further. What about Mike Tyson? What, you know, one of the greatest ever <laughs> wanted to identify as a woman. Would you let him fight? Well, if he met our guidelines, yes. They were saying yes to all of this. That's bad. I blame the Democrats, even though it was in Europe. <laughs> Bro, like, 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 <laughs> like w w how far do we, how far is this going, Norbert? Or w when does it stop, bro? Well, I mean, that's just the way it is, Tony. I mean, all these things were pushed maybe 20, 30 years ago, and now we're finally getting the effects, as uh, the side effects. Yeah, the, 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 the fruit grew, and now, now they got to eat of it. Yeah, but I mean, I, I like to believe that, you know, a, a, a movement like that happened to men also. Which, it is, which one it is, I'm not too sure. Now, now look, it, I, I'm going to say this, Norbert, because I know people are going to say something stupid, but... Look, I don't put my hope in man, and I know you don't either, and I believe I speak for all of us. I don't put my hope in man. But I just want to say this. Trump, number one, is not the savior, okay? But when he was in office, we didn't see this movement, bro. I saw it. You didn't see it, but if you were in, put into politics, you, you would have saw it, by the way. I saw this happen. As much as it is today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're saying it was the same? Yeah, they they said they they couldn't push the laws until they couldn't put the but actual that's what laws I'm talking until about. they had Congress. Once they had Congress, once they had the Senate, once they had, they had the the White House, they were able to pass all the laws they wanted to. I mean, look at look at Newsom. He's pushing so many uh, oh, God. pro gay laws, pro uh, pedo laws. Well, well, why do you still support him? Hey, I rec I voted to recall him. Your and boy, I'm, Newsom. And, I, and I'm going to vote again to recall. So I ask everybody here that's from California, when it's, when time comes to vote, make sure you vote to recall his ass. You know, what, 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 why does he want to stay in office, bro? Does he, does he like the fucking clout? Does he like the fucking power. attention? Power. Does he like the fucking power? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's power. Power and then his aunt. His aunt is uh, Nancy Pelosi. Oh God, that is fucking explains so, a lot. So he, he, I didn't know that. Well, he's been groomed. He's groomed. He's been groomed to be the president, next president. He ain't gonna be no fucking president. Bro. I mean, if the Democrats have their way and they have the money to to make it happen, they got the power. They got the DNC in their pocket. They they have a lot of power. That's why California. It, it, that's why California it, it is what it is because the Democrats control it. I got the power. Yes, they do, Alex. Uh, go ahead and read my poll. Hey. <laughs> okay. 
okay, it's been now five minutes. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> five minutes? That's what she said. Uh, okay, give it a little bit. Now, put the camera on him. Nobra, give us a short one. I'll get us something to drink. A short one? Uh, yeah, let's in, in, see. yeah, give us a short uh, one because, you know. A short uh, give us a chiquito. Okay, I can't give that one yet. Um, okay, this is a short one. Well, maybe it's not short, but a, uh, a uh, 26-year-old Reginald Cook uh, was charged with two counts of attempted aggravated murder. Now, the thing that's most interesting about this thief right here, uh, he went inside a gas station and uh, he pretty much went in there with a bluff to tell uh, the cashier, give me your money, while having his hand inside his sweater, making it seem like he had a, a weapon on him. Uh, the cashier didn't believe him. He told him no. So what the guy did, he ended up leaving. Next thing you know, guy comes back again. This time he says, give me some money. Or my snake is going to bite you. Dude comes in with a five-foot snake wrapped around his neck. Fuck. Telling the cashier to give him his, uh, give him money. Give him, like give him money. Or he's going to have this snake bite him. Now, did he give him the money? No. What he did do, what the cashier did do, was actually pull out his own weapon that he had at the time. And told him to just chill, chill there till the cops got there. Oh, he had a Fusca. Yeah, he had a Fusca. So, more of a story, don't try to rob a, a place with a snake. Fuck. This is really that he... <laughs> the fuck? Walk in there with a boa constrictor and shit? <laughs> squeeze you. Give me the money. I'll let him go. I'll let him I'll go. Let him I go. will throw him at you. This fool thought he was Jake the Snake Robbers with a I'm going to walk snake. in there with a fucking iguana. Hey. Watch. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. So, so he did get arrested... Um, it was a little funny to the cops. Corona was, familiar. Familiar. I like familiar. It's, it today's to Thursday. To, today's uh, Thursday. Thursday. Uh, no, Friday's uh, younger brother. So, hey. um, so we're gonna party today, and then tomorrow we we chill mm. for Saturday. Uh, hey, if you're in from Arizona, you know if you guys do go to the Super Show, please uh, find us and say what's up. Yes. Find us and say what's up. Say sup, man. Sup. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Norbert, I'm going to pour us a shot. And Norbert, get ready because Singing with Norbies is coming up. Oh, shit. Since Let it was a it. smash hit last time. <laughs> okay. And then when you guys call in, if you guys have something that you guys want him to sing. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Drop it on the Super Chat. Oh. The song that you guys want him to sing. Okay, the first three people, drop it on the super chat. Any song, <laughs> okay? Hey, shout like, out to the live chat right from now. From YMCA, you guys are wild. To the Blue Oyster theme, so what? To whatever. Hey man, I'm surprised nobody opened up a uh, fucking bar like that. With I that know, name. huh? That that the. At but least think, in West Hollywood or but something. But I think the fucking wrong crowd. Well, the right crowd yeah. for some people will show up. Damn, it's been a minute since we had Espolón. I know it's been, it's a, been minute. a minute. I cannot wait for Saturday, bro. We're going to have so much fun. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. So, so I know Zapata Vive um, dropped something, but now I do want to say this. Become a member so you can get all that exclusive content from Saturday. We're going to have the, the women videos, the car videos, and the performance videos, and the backstage videos, and then uh, Norbert uh, singing videos. Hey. So we're going to do a skit soon, but it's only for members. And it's Norby's the wedding singer. So if anybody wants to hire Norbert for their wedding to sing their favorite oldies, definitely hit us up. Yeah. You, you have to become a member so you guys can see his actually demo video. Oh, yeah. Because when That's he good. did that um, that one by the Delphonics one, that was a hit. It went gold in I Turkey. Think, yeah. I yeah. Think, I, yeah, it did. I got a lot of fan mail from that. A, a lot of fan mail, especially yeah. in, in the Turkish prison. So... Wait. <laughs> Uh, how did you sing that song? Um, how did it go? Which one? Many guys that come to you. you. What's a line? That, that, was, that was classic. Okay, what song do you have for us first, Mr. Wedding well, Singer? We're, not, we're still doing stories. No! Yeah. Well, that's why we took a shot. It's halftime. It's 9 o'clock. No, no, no. no. I'm, not, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Let's do two more stories and then we'll get there. I already hyped them up. Uh, Come on. <laughs> You'll do one more and I'll do one more and then we'll get to it. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta get myself situated. Okay. Okay, somebody dropped a live chat. 
El, uh, by DeBarge, I like it. Oh, I like it. So that's one. Yeah. By DeBarge. Let me, uh, let me uh, look that up right now. Okay. See? So it, it could be two pennies. I don't care. As long as you guys give. Trip Cervantes. Not, not to be confused with Alex Cervantes. Hey. Okay. So let's do that one since, since he paid. What? Oh, shit. Thong song by Cisco. Jesus. Thong, 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 thong. He's going to do that in a minute, okay? So let's do the I like it first. One verse. I'm trying to load it. Let, let me uh, remind myself that song goes. Okay. Turn it down. All right, go ahead. I hear the ice cream truck. You hear the ice cream truck, Alex? Outside. Okay. Did you find it? Yes. What? Mm-hmm. Mm. Death Star drop 199. Ramona Yala Tragos Amargos. That's the third one. That's a Dian Tony. <laughs> no. You got it? Alright, I got it. Okay, you got the lyrics? Okay, I like it. Let's go. <laughs> me, 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 me. But you gotta <laughs> sing it. Co, co, con, co, con amor. Oscar de la Coca. Damn, that's a good one. I, he's Oscar de las Nalgas. Because he's a motherfucker oh. be giving it up. Go ahead. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> I've been thinking about you. You better sing it. <laughs> Don't read it. I've been thinking about I, you. I, <laughs> I've been thinking about you for quite a while. You're on my mind every day and every night. My every thought is you. The things you do seem so satisfying to me. <laughs> I must confess it, girl. Ooh, I like it. You send chills up my spine every time I take one look at you. That's I good enough. Look at you. There you That's go. Give him a hand clap. Oh, yeah. Norby's the wedding singer. If you guys want him to sing these songs at your wedding, I'm make, down. Sure, make sure you guys contact us. We'll make it work. We'll work out a good deal. Yes. And then uh, in a little bit, we'll do the thong song. And then we'll do the Tragos Amargos. So you want to do that now or you want to go to a story and then come back to these? Let's go to a story and then let me, because I'm going to look it up. So it's your turn on this. Okay. Thong Song by Cisco. S-I-S-Q-O. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Which one is next? Okay. Alex, go ahead and bring up mine. There you go. Go ahead and read that caption for us, Alex. It says, Nebraska teacher 45 caught naked in car with teen is married to Harvard educated government official. So this lady, this teacher in Nebraska, correct? Yeah. Was caught butt naked in the back seat with a 17 year old, right? Did it say? Okay, I'm going to read it to you. So sad she straight embarrassed her family. Uh, she knew her husband is a public figure. It's it's so many uh, places she could have got weenie from. Hey. Why with a student at a high school? Uh, Irene Ward, 45, admitted to having sex with a 17-year-old student at Brook High School where the where she worked. According to the cops, Ward was able to dodge uh, statutory rape. Check this out. She was able to dodge statutory rape. Um, charges because the teen was above the Nebraska age of consent, which is 16. Damn. Okay. If Ward posts bond, she will not be uh, allowed to have uh, any contact with the victim or any other minor. Douglas County Sheriff's uh, de deputies arrested Ward early Saturday after finding her allegedly fooling around with a teenage boy in the family car, a Honda sedan. Okay, Ward is a mom of three kids and is also married to a Harvard-educated, high-ranking federal government employee, Doug Ward, according to records and social media accounts. Her husband has served with the 
Pentagon U.S. Strategic Command for nearly two decades. Uh. So she knew his resume. She knew what he what he had done, and she wanted a 17-year-old kid, bro. So my question to you, Norbert, we could only guesstimate, okay? What the fuck did a 45-year-old want with a 17-year-old, bro? I don't think that bothers me more, Tony. Okay. What I, does? I think what bothered me bothers me more is that her husband was a fucking, from what you said, yeah, was a was kind of like a super spy, and yeah. he couldn't tell his wife was doing this. This is the guy that's uh, making sure that the we're okay around the world. I know. Love I, is blind. Yeah, love is blind. It's fine. Oh, okay, but now she can't face trauma charges because the consent is sixteen, but and the kid was seventeen. But here's my question. Then why arrest her then? If it's legal, according yeah. to Nebraska. Now, is it because they were caught in a car, maybe in decent exposure? I, I want to think because they couldn't really confirm his, the kid's age. Okay. Because at the time, he probably looked like a 15-year-old. Yeah, because it says here, it says here, um, uh, Ward, is also dodge, Ward is also able to dodge statutory rape charges because the teen was above the Nebraska age of consent. So now, my thing is this, bro. Your son, I don't know how old he is. I'll leave it. I'll leave yeah. it alone. But say he was seventeen, he was caught with a forty-five year old. All bad. All bad, bro. All bad. I don't give a shit what Nebraska says that the age of consent is sixteen. It doesn't fucking matter. This lady took advantage of that kid. I mean, wait till you're eighteen. Okay, cool, whatever. You know, but she took advantage of him. She knew what she was doing. This is a fucking student, and she knew, you know, what her husband was or and is and what he does. Yeah. And she got caught. What a fucking embarrassment, bro. That's crazy, though, man. But this is trending. This is trending. Very, very true. This is trending, Norbert. Uh, Alex, what do you think? Stop trolling over there because I need to ask you questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> okay, what do you need to ask? Yeah, what do you think about this case? <laughs> I think that... I think that they're, that he probably has connections and is able to make it more than what it is. Mm. You know? Because if what you're saying is true about the age and everything, that's something they should already know or whatever. But no, I guess, but the question that I'm asking Norbert, I'm asking you. Okay, what's the question? What the fuck was she thinking hooking up with a 17-year-old, bro? Like, what do you what do you think? What? Is she a choma? She's a choma. No, I think it's still a choma, right? I'll say choma. I remixed cho it. Choma Lester. Okay. Ma Lester. Yeah. So, choma Lester. Yeah, well, that's the way we would say it if you have an accent. And when you look at her face, you're like, you're thinking like, what the fuck? She's just what, like, she what, like, what am I even here? I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, now let me ask you this. That's her husband. Yeah. They drop her off at home. C could you see her face to face, bro? <sighs> Hell no, I'd be like, you're fucking stupid. What, what, what if she looked at you and said, I'm sorry, babe. I wouldn't even be in the home. I would have taken my kids. I would have taken my kids. I oh, so it would have been up. It's, it would have been a wrap. That's it. That would have been a wrap. That's, that's fucking weird. You would have rolled it up. I would have rolled it up. I what about you, Alex? I would have called up the next hooker. She show, she goes home. She looks at you. <laughs> Sorry, babe. What do you do, Alex? Oh, man. That's that's a hard one. That's what she said. So you're thinking about staying? Fuck no. Oh, well, but, answer. But, I mean, you also, like, will probably want to get... I get like some type of revenge or some shit, you know. So it would be hard to not do some crazy ass shit or some dumb ass shit, you know. Especially if I mean, or what if he's a cook? I don't know. Mm. Okay, yeah, hey, great answer. Now, my thing is this: What are these teachers? Because it's it's a trending thing with yeah. women right now, with women teachers. Yes. Do you just think she's just into young kids? Because, look, I, I don't think that the lady will have tr trouble getting laid at a fucking bar. Bro, I'm starting to think this, this is one of those TikTok trends that people are just following. It, but th instead of a dance move, they're, they're fucking underage kids. Fuck, bro. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go to Cisco. Um, um, thong song. My, my, my story. Go to my story. You're trying to dodge. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. Dong to dong dong dong. I, get, I, get, I have to get to the story. Okay, uh, go ahead and go to your whack ass story. This is, uh, and then let me get a shout out to Focus LA because he uh, he gave me this segment about uh, dummy of the week, and this is definitely a dummy of the week. Um, you know, you know, you you 
you know you're kind of stupid when um, you buy meth. That's already stupid right there. But don't like the batch you, you got. So you end up calling the cops. To On the drug dealer. <laughs> no, no. You end up calling the cops to test your meth. Fuck. Okay, fuck. So, that is ghetto news. <laughs> so Sarah Harris, uh, she was a little pissed. She was a little pissed because she went to go pick up. Pamela Harris? Uh, no, Sarah Harris. Oh, okay. Uh, age 34. Uh, she was a little pissed off because she had recently purchased some meth uh, and took it. Uh, she felt a little odd. She, her heart started really like beating very fast. And, uh, she was upset because mm. prior to that, she had already smoked some meth. Mm. And, uh, but this meth was, uh, in good standings with her. So she was a little pissed off cause she, she was under the impression that maybe just maybe this guy sold her a bad batch. Okay. So she called the cops because I guess apparently to her mind, she thought cops would test out their meth because I don't know if you know, but some cities actually test out people's drugs. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what does the cop do? Is he like, hold on, hold on, hold on. They'll, they'll test it out. Hold on. Let me get a little bit right here. Hold on. Yeah. Don't move. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> You did that a little too good, Ooh. Tony. You did that a little too good. <laughs> Dead homies. So, <laughs> Go ahead. So, so she called the cop. The cop showed up. <laughs> they did end up arresting her <laughs> for possession. <laughs> Fuck. That's the dummy of the week right there. I. <laughs> okay, let's go to let's go let's go to um, the thong song. The thong song. The thong song. Okay, you're not wearing one right now, are you? No, no, okay. no, no, no. That that uh, the only other certain, that's for Saturday. Only other betas wear that stuff. <laughs> other betas. And admit to it. And admit to it, huh? <clears throat> All right. I, I I guess I got to put on my sexy voice for this one. Go ahead. Hell yeah. <clears throat> this thing right here is letting all the ladies know what guys talk about. You know the finer things in life. Haha, check it out. Ooh, that dress is scandalous. And you know another nigga couldn't handle it. So you're shaking that thing like, who's the ish? What a look in your eyes, so devilish. Uh, you like to dance all the hip hop spots. And you cruise the cruise, like connect the dots. Not just urban, she likes to pop. Cause she was living the vida loca. She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Thighs like what? What, what, baby with your butt, but, but, oh, I think I'll sing it again. Come on. She had dumps like a truck, 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 thighs like what, 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 all night long. Let me see that thong. That's all I got. Hell yeah. Hey. Give him a hand clap. Let's give him a hand clap. Once again, if you guys want to get Norby, the wedding singer at your wedding, at your quinceanera. Yes, sir. Whatever. Contact us at rodeoandradio.gmail.com and we'll make it happen. I'll show up. He'll be there with, without a hat, with his hair yeah, out. I'll be there. Tuxedo and all. Tuxedo t-shirt, of course. I'm going to let it loose. Let it loose. Like the juice. Yes. Uh, the juice. So, uh, uh, once again, Norby's the wedding singer. Uh, become a member. We're going to release his first skit as Norby's the wedding singer, okay? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That one was, that was probably your best up to date. You're getting better. See, I told you. That's why I tell you, you, you got to let me get a few more drinks in me, Tony. Okay, Tragos Amargos is next because they paid. Hey. Okay. Can we get Candyman? Candyman, which one? The, the Candyman. Knocking Boots? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, well, you got to pay for it, Alex. <laughs> you got to pay for it. Somebody, somebody pay for it. Tra Wait, Tragos Amargos? Tragos Amargos oh, oh. by Ramona uh, Ayala. <laughs> who's Ramona Ayala? Ramon. Remember, Ay who's Mundo Ramos? <laughs> I got to hear out that one. All right, so okay. So your your story's up next. Oh, God, would you do an LGBTQ alphabet mafia wedding? No. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So. <laughs> Don't take me to court for that one. <laughs> Sorry, you Alex. You know there was that that one. Uh, they um, a LGBTQ couple actually took a wedding cake maker to court because yeah. she wouldn't make cake. And they won, me. bro. Fuck. 
And they won. I take that back. I'll go to, I'll go to the LGBTQ. <laughs> but don't, don't forget the plus, the LGBTQ plus. That's like the premium channel. That's cool. I don't got shit. They, hey, they, they shit. said you knew that song too good. Hey, Hell yeah. Let me through. Okay. Uh, Alice, give us the, the my poll. Okay. Okay. The question is, is it fair for women to compete with trans women? And 138 votes... 14% said yes, it's fair, and 86% said hell no. Wow. See, Norby's? Fuck. Fuck. Yes. Uh, Tony, Tony is Norby's manager now. Hey. Yes. And then and then I'm, I'm going to rip him off and keep all the money and then say, they never paid us. <laughs> I said it live here first. Hey, man, yes, it's fair. 13%. That must be the cucks. Shout out to you, cucks out there. Exactly. Them cucks are alive and well on planet Earth. Hey. So the world needs cucks. Absolutely. Sangre de indio. Ay, wey. Damn. Zapata vive. Okay, tragos amargos. Are you ready? Do you need to hear it first? No, I, I thought you were doing your story. No. No, no, no. You, don't you have another story? Yes, I do. You, but you got to let me get some drinks in between these stories, okay. Tony. Tragos amargos, and then we got a Vicente Fernandez song, okay? Okay. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Mama say, mama say, mama kusa. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's bring up Alec whenever you're ready. The Brazilian. I think that one. That was the one that's next. No, you weenie. That one. Okay. Brazilian <laughs> woman arrested after taking dead uncle to bank to secure loan. Okay. So this was a woman that was taking care of her uncle in Brazil. I believe it's Brazil. It's a Brazilian woman. Okay. And uh, the uncle had already passed away earlier that day. So she was trying to get some money from her dead uncle. So she called a cab, threw his ass in a wheelchair, sad to say, put him in the cab, and the cab driver helps pick up this dead fucking body, bro. Jeez. Puts him in the front seat, goes to the bank. She gets out, gets the wheelchair. The cab driver helps get him out. Puts him in the fucking, in the wheelchair. Norbert, I seen the video. Oh. And this, this dead man was like this, bro. Yeah. He was like, bro, there were people walking by, and they were like, what the hell? Like, they were looking. And she was just putting his arms like this, putting his head down, saying he was asleep, he's tired, etc. She walks him to the bank, is trying to get a loan out. Okay? He's putting his hand up on the counter, grabbing the pen. Oh, he's tired. Oh, he's asleep. And he just kept moving back, his head back. When she pushed her head back forward, trying to grab his arm to like sign, his head just kept falling back. The bank got suspicious. They called the cops, bro. Come to find out that dude had been dead hours. Fuck. Go ahead and put up the next picture. You can see. Look at Norbert. Holy. Bro, fuck. Hey, somebody somebody took weekends at Bernie's a little too fucking serious. A little too fucking serious. A little too fucking serious. So let me Shit. ask you this, Norbert. Let me ask you this, bro. Would I do it? Yeah, of course I would. God, mate, wait. Oh, oh. Okay, so, th so the footage, new footage shows women who use dead uncle to sign bank loan arriving at by taxi with a driver helping move the body. Okay, so my thing is this. Is the money that bad? I'm like, do you really need the fucking money that bad, bro, that you're going to use your uncle for that? That type of shit, bro. Like, what was this? Is this woman a psychopath or she's just a fucking money hungry whore? Well, I don't. Um, I don't mean to be sound disrespectful, Tony, but it, it's by any chance is he? A, is he a midget? No, he's not a midget. He's just a. He's an old man. You look at the picture. He's like. Yeah, I know, but he's an old man. He died, bro. Okay. All right. What was so, the question again? Okay, Alex and Norbert, listen to this question: What would drive or possess a woman to do something like this, knowing that's her uncle? That's her relative, bro. That's family. He's dead, and instead of being in mourning, she's thinking money. What possesses a person like that, bro? An extremely logical person, Tony. Elaborate. Well, I mean, she knows, she understands the way the banks work. She understands the, that this man has, this man's name has value. Mm -hmm. And this man can get a kind of loan that most people can't. So family goes out the door, right? It, it, I don't think his family goes out the door. I think it's more, like I said, logical. Like, 
if you could use a name to get you something and it's you know it's not gonna hurt the person because the person's already dead. I mean, the question is, if you know that that name is gonna help you, would you use that name? I mean So it, she's not a psychopath, she's not crazy. I mean, think about it this way, Tony. People use references, right? As people as references, I, right? I, I understand that, but you're dancing around my no, question. Well, here, let, let me ask you this. Do you know if those people in those references are alive or dead? Well, I don't use dead people for references whenever I Well, did. I'm just saying, but do you know if they're dead or alive? When you see an application, you see the references. Oh, no, no. You're asking me if I'm like at a bank, do I know if they're alive or dead? Yeah, as or, far no, as I references. Don't. You know, nobody, no, nobody does. Yeah. You know, and that's what I'm saying. This, she... <laughs> you blew up the picture. <laughs> so, so, no, but, but what I'm saying. Oh, oh no, I know. No, I he, he was that. fucking playing the OJ over there. Okay? <laughs> no, 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 I zoomed in. That's all he forgot. I zoomed in. What I am saying, Norbert, is this. So, fuck family. Family goes out the door. I need some money. I don't think it's fuck family. I think it's like, let, let, let me use your name be, while you're. But that's family, bro. Like, so, what I'm saying, that's family. Like, but that's why I said logical. Tony, logical, you you don't, there's no emotion behind it. There's no feelings behind it. You're not thinking of um, family, which is emotional connection. So, you're right. Thinking more, I get, no, I get that. So, she learned how to separate herself from that. Yes. Okay, I get it. Yeah. But is this a cold-hearted psychopath or no? Well, in, in a form that, that's in, I mean, from my ghetto perspective, that's a form of uh, psychosis right there. Okay. That's, she's, okay. she's, that's there. what I was looking for. There's, there's definitely some <laughs> psych. Psychoness in that, I guess you could say. Alex? Okay, my opinion on that is that some people see an opportunity to make money and no matter uh, no matter what circumstances, you know, that will they will go and jump through hoops to try to at least make something work, you know, when it comes to money because, you know, that's what we're taught, that money yeah. is everything. And I'm pretty sure, you know, Right. I, I see a lot of people, too, that, um, like, their parents die or whatever, and then they have siblings, and then everybody fights for all the stuff. You know what? And I was going there next, so thank you for that, Alex, is this. I've known families, bro, and sad to say, like, the mom had already passed. Now the father passed. And let's just say he had a house for maybe 50 years. Yeah. And he says, uh, my savings is to be divided to, let's just say, uh, let's make up a scenario, my four children. Yeah. The house, I want it sold. I don't want nobody to live here. Yeah. I want it to be divided to my four children. Yeah. But I'm going to put uh, Socorro in charge. Yeah. Now, all the other siblings hate fucking Socorro. Yeah. Because they're saying she's fucking greedy. Yeah. I never fucking understood how families fight over fucking money because your father just passed away. He left you guys his life savings. His savings divided to all you guys. Yeah. The house divided to all you guys. Yeah. And you motherfuckers are fighting over fucking money. You know what I would say? Fuck that money. Let me go spend time with my father at his gravesite and, you know, reminisce of the, the good things. Fuck all you guys. As a matter of fact, I'm cutting all you guys out. Anytime I see anybody fight over fucking money, bro, they're fucking no good, bro. Yeah. You know, I, I, have, a, I, ha I have a friend that um, recently this happened to. First, his mom died during uh, COVID or whatever. Uh, and then, well, first, his dad died, actually. And then later on, uh, the mom died. So when the mom died, he, you know, like he had a stepsister and stepbrother and yeah. step siblings. So he became the enemy. He became the target. And, you know, now he he has to rely on living on the street, you know, because everybody wanted to sell the house. And yeah. He was the only one that didn't have a house, and he was the only one staying with the parents, helping out, you know, helping them while they were sick or whatever. Everyone else <laughs> didn't do nothing. Yeah. You, know, so. yeah. you can go ahead and take that down, Alex. Yeah. Thank you for that, man. But it's true. A lot of people fight over money and forget the whole mourning part that we just lost a family member. Anyways. Yeah, that's a tough one, dude. It I is. mean, especially when there's a lot of siblings involved. I mean... <sighs> Yeah, I, and I, I know somebody in my neighborhood that was happening. It was two brothers, uh, and it was weird though, because they were collecting rent off of the house that their parents, you know, left, and but the brothers ended up like renting it out. Yeah, and for some reason, one brother didn't like it. He just wanted to sell it, which yeah. is weird. But and uh, I like to think it's more about education. I'm like, bro, you're making money off of this house. You're getting a monthly check. 
I off know. of this house. It's not. It's not enough. But though. you you want a a bulk amount, like, and I like to think it's more about education. Yeah. Like you have money that's coming in guaranteed. Right. Where and this is why a lot of like a lot of people have problems. They they want the bulk amount. They want fuck that. I'm not gonna get like monthly checks. I yeah. want the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I want it all now. And then what happens? They they get all the money. They spend it all. They get, they develop a drug habit, and then they they uh, they delete themselves. Yeah, fucking go to fucking Las Vegas and fucking. But that's only because of education. It, anyone will see like, hey, that's guaranteed money that's always gonna come. I, yeah. If I wanted to do something, all I have to do is tell a bank, hey, I got all this money. I want this. It's gonna come. I'm just gonna send to you. Give me a million dollars. Yeah. And the bank's gonna be like, oh shit. Well, yeah, I can see you're getting that money. There's so here's a million dollars. Yeah. There's companies that do that, they'll give you an advanced loan. Well, yeah, Elon Musk does that. Elon Musk, to avoid paying taxes, what he does is he goes to a bank that he knows likes him. Yeah. He asks him, look, I need this loan, business loan, and he puts it under the business name. Mm. You don't pay taxes for business loans. Right, 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 right. But that money is actually the money he's paying himself for his profits. All good, Norby. So you don't pay taxes. Go ahead and sip and get ready for Tragos Amargos. I was supposed to say my story, right? Oh, fuck you. You know what? I'm going to give people their, their money back. <laughs> you know what? Uh, okay, so here's the story. Let me get the story and then we'll go. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, going, back to the, going back to the church. <laughs> You're not going to Driscoll, are we? Huh? Mark Driscoll? Mark Driscoll. The, the pastor? The pastor. Are we going to him yet? It, uh, the, the pole dancer? Yes. The no, pole no, dance. we're saving that. We're saving ah. that. You got to go to another one. We got to go to another one because that one means you're going to chime in together mm. on that one. Because I got the pictures. Okay, well, let's go to this one. This one is fucking crazy. And they might go with the next song that's coming up. Uh, this uh, cartel queen was arrested uh, for uh, ripping people's out, <laughs> ripping people's hearts out. Uh, her name was known in the underworld as La Chelli. The 22-year-old was wanted by both Mexican and U.S. authorities in relation to a series of murders that occurred over the border in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. This story is crazy because this chick, 22 years old, extremely psychotic, extremely, I want to say religious, because when they found her at her, because I think they found her at her home, they found two hearts, two human hearts, placed in front of a uh, of uh, what, what do you call that one uh, thing that they believe in? Like, it looks Santa like Muerte. Death. Santa Muerte. They found two human hearts and laid in front of Santa Muerte, more wow. like an offering. And it's crazy because she was twenty two, twenty two years old, and she went. She took it that far, but I gotta imagine somebody at that age that is capable of doing that must have had one hell of a fucked up. She, she was groomed, bro. She was like, definitely that, groomed. Not, not necessarily, possibly, because I don't know. Yeah. Not, maybe not on purpose, but on everything she saw, she became desensitized to possibly death. I don't think desensitized because she obviously had a spiritual belief to La Santa Muerte, right? Well, the, when I say desensitized, it was like uh, shooting somebody, somebody getting fucking shot in the fucking head. It's nothing. Seeing somebody get the fucking head cut off. It's probably nothing. I see that all the time. But you see, that's more like uh, that's more like cold hearted. That's more of a psychotic. Well, they, they, that's they, what I mean by desensitized. In, in this bro. case, she had she made it. She used that as an offering to her to Santa Muerte. Fuck. So that that puts a more of a spiritual belief. That puts that gives her purpose. That gives her a mm -hmm. goal. Whereas uh, somebody that psycho just does it just to do it because they yeah. like doing it or they enjoy doing it. But she did it with a purpose, which it, makes oh, her that much more dangerous. With almost like a religious belief behind it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and bro, so she had faith in the Santa Muerte. Yes. That's why people that believe in false religions. Yeah. Are very dangerous, bro, because they'll give up their lives. I'm not saying that, you know, it's a false religion in case people uh, uh, that are watching us. I'm, I'm <laughs> saying false that. religion in general. Yeah. Let me clarify that because I'm sure some motherfuckers mm -hmm. over here, Tony A said, this. in general, when yes. people believe in false, you know, religions yeah. or or their faith is strong, they'll give up their life, bro, for, well, for what they believe. Well, this goes back to the case that you, you your story about the girl, that yeah. the, the astrology. It's not really that much different from it's this not, girl. It's not, bro. Yeah, you know, you're right. 
Fuck, that's that's crazy, bro. Like the shit that people think of, bro. I mean, it's crazy that she got to a point where she could see herself cutting a person open, literally ripping the heart out, and just offering it because her belief in Santa Muerte is that strong. Now, in, now I will say this because there are people that believe in Santa Muerte that are probably watching that will probably say, "No, no, that's not true. We don't believe in that." Look, let's be honest. Catholicism. Many Catholics in different parts of the world believe differently, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. They believe differently. So when it comes to Santa Muerte, it's no different. There are people that will probably believe differently. There is. No, there no, is. We, we, we don't do that. Yes, we do. I've never heard of that. Yes, I have. You know, there's different, bro. Yeah. No, it's true, man. I mean, look, look, the, the Muslims get a bad rep for doing the, their whole suicide bombing stuff. But look, the Irish were doing that for a cool minute also. They were Catholics. You know, but I will say this. They were doing bombings. They were killing innocent people, too. Under under their their faith, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, uh, Bin Laden, uh, Gaddafi, you know the Shah, none of these guys ever sent out their own kids to be suicide bombers. No, none of them. Yeah. But they would say that martyrdom is so beautiful. Yeah, you volunteer, motherfuckers. But when it comes to your own fucking family, if you're gonna go kill yourself and you know enter into paradise immediately, yeah. and then. Uh, uh, w- once you do that with martyrdom, you bring in 25 people of your own family immediately. Why don't you encourage your son? A lot of these leaders, yeah. they didn't do that, bro. No, and they won't because they won't because they love the power. They love the love. Yeah, of course. Because they get it. it, it they love to be them. feared. Yeah, they, they, they'd love to be feared. And they love to be loved. That's yeah. why you have all these priests that like they have these mega churches because they love they want more people. If they could get a coliseum full of People, they would. Some it's of them true. do. It's true. It's Some true. of them do. True. And it's crazy because, you know, that just shows where humanity's a big portion of humanity is very lost when it comes to religion. Absolutely. Because, unfortunately, they don't want to practice yeah. self, their own self-belief, their own self-journey. Okay, Norbert, it's time for you to sing and stop, you know. <laughs> Somebody put stop, Tony. Okay, I don't know who L.A. have to, whatever. <laughs> All right. This is news with Norby, so stop. All right, so this is Tragos Amargos, right? Yeah, Tragos Amargos, yes. So uh, since you're a little buzz, and now we're a little buzz, go ahead. All right. Clavado en este rincón, como tú clavaste a mi corazón. Estos tragos que tomo yo son pura tristeza y son mi dolor. Te fuiste, no sé por qué. Yo sé que me querías y sé que me adorabas. Por si acaso quieres regresar, te voy a esperar, te voy a esperar. Tragos de amargos licor. Que no me hacen olvidar Y me siento como un cobarde Que hasta me pongo a llorar Hell yeah, let's give him a hand clap Hey Let's give him a hand clap, that was nice Okay, what do you think Ramona Yala was talking about right there, bro? <sighs> Tragos Amargos I think he was just talking about some chick that just fucked him He was simping some chick that just fucked them. But, but you know what? There's a lot of his songs and a lot of his Spanish songs, a lot the same with blues songs. Yeah. Blues, okay? She left me. I left her. I was no good. She was no good. She cheated. I'm going to find me another. Yeah. She found another. She wants me back. That's all it is, bro. That's crazy, man. Fucking... Fuck. They should it, it sounds like it sounds like Mandilon is singing. Yeah. Simps. Simps. You know. Why don't you just sing a song, you fucked up, ho, I came up winning. You know, you I was know. thinking about a song like that too. Why isn't there a song? You know who did who who came out with a song like an album like that? Uh Frankie J. You okay. you know that artist, Frankie J? Yeah, I booked him here three times and he canceled all three times. Yeah. Frankie Come J. On, Frankie J. His first album was like that. He was just trash talking the girl the whole fucking time. No shit. Yeah. Are you sure he was talking about a girl? Ooh. Ooh. I'll leave it at that, yeah, Frankie J. You better get at me because you know I'm gonna see you. Anyways, um, 
There was one more song, right? There was one more song. Yeah, but oh, yeah. we're Vicente doing Fernandez. a story, no? No, 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 no. That's it. Because we're getting close to calls. Wait, what Vicente Fernandez song? song. Return well, of the Mac. Re- no, no, that fucking was, Return uh, of the Mac. Okay. Okay, well, what was the Vicente Fernandez song? <laughs> it, here it is right here. Um, right said, Fred, I'm too sexy. Okay, no. No. No, Sangre de Indio. Vicente oh, Fernandez. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sangre de Indio. No, that was it. Okay. If you guys want more songs, go ahead and uh, drop it on the Super Chat. It could be a dollar. It could be 99 cents. It could be a quarter. It doesn't matter. Drop it on Super Chat. Whatever you guys want. Because this is new, news with Norby's. Norby's the wedding singer. He'll, he will uh, of this yeah, sing at your um, wedding, at your quinceanera, whatever the, at your divorce party, uh, whatever the case may be. He will be there. Just hit me at boardingradio.gmail.com. And he will make it happen. So, once again, she never loved me. Yeah, that's another good one. Okay? That's another good one. So, Pura Sangre Azteca. Yorari, okay. yorari. I'm crying, that's I'm crying. A, okay. You ready? All right. This go ahead. Is, this is a weird song that he's singing. It's not his normal voice. All right, go ahead. G- give me your best Vicente song. All right. Yo sé que tengo algo de indio porque lo siento en la sangre. Yo sé que tengo algo de indio porque la siento en la sangre. Si dicen que soy mestizo, hoy lo dirán lo que saben. Mi orgullo es mi sangre de indio y de quetzal es mi plumaje. Nací en la flor de la sierra entre muchos cantaf. Cafetelas, <laughs> me arrullaron las sensun. These words are hard. Sensles y en viento entre las macetas. Just give me a hand clap. Okay. Man, that's a that, that's a very good song. I haven't actually heard that song from him. Uh huh. Because that's very like cultural. Okay. There's another one right now. Look up the weather, girls. It's raining men. Ah, hell no. Hey, they paid for it. I'm giving you the money, Norbert. It's $2. I'm giving you $2 right now after the show. Okay? Gas money. What other one? I'm going to just read that one. I'm going to read that one. No, no, you got to see. It's raining men. You got to listen to it. Listen to it first before you do it. Okay, do you know the song by heart? No, I don't know the song by heart, but I listen to K-Rock. They tend to play this okay, song. Okay, go ahead and play that song. Go, go ahead and do it. But I, I think this is the intro part. Hi, hi, we're, hi, hi, we're your weather girls. Uh-huh, and have we got news for you. You better listen. Get ready, all your lonely girls, and leave those umbrellas at home, all right? Humidity is rising. Barometer is getting low. According to all sources, the streets the place to go. Cause tonight for the first time, just about half past ten, for the first time in history, it's gonna start raining, man. It's raining, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's raining. I remember that. That was a f- <laughs> fuck. All right, all right, cool. Can we got another one? Something called a Kwame Only You. But uh, only the hook. What? Kwame, only you. Kwame, only you? I don't think Mr. D's Let's Get It On is, I thank you for dropping that, but I don't think it's Pink Weenie put uh, $1.99 and it put Mr. D Let's Get It On. I don't think his lyrics are up on here. So Kwame? Kwame is K-W-A-M-E. Oh. He's a real artist from the 80s. It's called Only You, but Only The Hook. Okay. Only the hook. The hook? Which part is the hook? After he stops rapping. So like the chorus? The chorus, that's what it is. The hook. Same thing. So let's give Norris a little bit of time, let him get his groove on. You good over there, Alex? You feeling good? Nope. Fuck. All right. Yeah, that's a chick singing the chorus. Is it? 
Okay, go ahead and sing it. Mm-hmm. I think this is a chorus. Only you can make me do things I do. Why, oh, you can make me bring the world to you. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. Oh, it's you and only you. It's you and only you. Okay, that's it? That was, that's the chorus. Okay, what about My Neck, My Back by Kia? K H. Is that, is that a super chat? Yes. My uh, neck. Yeah, Forever Genesis request. She paid ten dollars for Jesus. you, bro. That's at least three tacos. <laughs> my neck, my back, by who? By Kia. K H I A. K H I A. Yeah. There you go. See, this is so he, I need you to swing it with that sw- sing it with that swag. Okay. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. Jesus Christ. I can say this. Let's go. Go. All you ladies, pop your pussy like this. Shake your body. Don't stop. Don't miss. All you ladies, pop your pussy like this. Shake your body. Don't stop. Don't miss. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Lick it good. Suck this put. Keep going. <laughs> Suck this. I'm going to change the lyrics. Fuck that. Suck this dick just like you should <laughs> right now. Lick it good. Suck this dick just like you should. My neck, my back. Lick my dick and my crack. Wait. Hey, yo, wait. So you see, you change it. You set yourself up, broke back. Okay. You set yourself up. <laughs> a, little, a little taint, a little taint licking ain't hurt nobody. My neck, my back, lick my dick and my taint. My neck, my back, lick my I'm dick and, and my, my taint. Yeah, whatever. You're a whack. <laughs> All your homeboys are whack. Okay, one last one and that's it. No more. Shazzy Town sing Freaking You by Jodeci. Sing the first verse and put some feeling into it by Jodeci. I love this song, Shazzy, so thank you for that. Okay? Jodeci is the shit. This song right here, the shiznit. The shiznit. Thank you, Forever Genesis, for putting this fool on, on, you know, on the spot. So, bro, that song by fucking, hey, by right. Jodeci is the shit, bro. Hey, shout out to Shazzy. Uh, look her up on Instagram. She has a new account. Go ahead. I want I want to put, I want you to have some, some wait, feeling wait, behind this one. What part did she say? The first verse. Every time I close my eyes, but, but you got to, I'll, I'll go ahead. But uh, you got to put some feeling behind it because Jodeci comes with it. Okay. That's what she said. No, Jodeci. Norby's, <laughs> Jodeci and Norby's, Jody Bees, Jody Bees, yeah. <clears throat> well. Last one, let's go. <clears throat> Sexy voice. Sexy voice, go. Sexy voice. Let me listen to the song one more time. <laughs> Come on, man. You got me in suspense here. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Chad, is for you. Every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so horny. I can't get you out of my mind. Sexing you be all I see. I would give anything just to get... Oh. My bad. Just to make you understand me. I don't give a damn about nothing else. Freaking you is all I need. Tonight I need your body. Tonight you got my time. Girl, whatever you want, I will give it, baby. Tonight you won't be sorry. That was it? Let's give me a hand clap anyways. 
Ska man hänga kvar? Jazzy Albert. Every time I close my eyes. You should have done it. I wake up feeling so horny. Hey. I don't have that fucking voice, bro. But yeah, that, that's that, a hard voice. That's fucking. Well, I'm not Jodeci, homie. Yeah, but, uh, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. That's a hard right there. But that is a fucking dope ass fucking classic ass yeah. fucking song. Every I'm, time I close my eyes, I can't do that shit. That's I wake hard. up what? I wake up in the. I wake up feeling so horny. Yeah. So you jack up with Diablo I can't sauce. get out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you all I got. Hey, no, all right, let's game. go. Are we ready for calls? Oh, oh no. that's all the songs. We don't have no more songs. I thought I was going to do that. Oh, I'm too sexy. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm too sexy? By who? I'm too sexy. That, Is that, that from uh, All Right? Right, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go. Um... All right, that's sexy voice again. Let's go. I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave me. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. I'm too sexy for Milan. Too sexy for Milan. New York and Japan. I'm too sexy for your party. Too sexy for your party. No way. I'm disco dancing. That's it? <laughs> hey, a, Shazzy a... Town said this. Nice try, Norbs, but I don't feel pregnant yet. Uh, Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try again. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, let me say that. That's a good let one. Let me see if I could go a lot. I'm going to yell. Is that okay? I don't care. And I'm pregnant. No, let's take off our shirts. Okay. Are you ready for that? Let me... uh, No, take off our shirts, Norbert. Uh, What? Let's take off our shirts. Let's show off our non-tattoo dad bods. Come on, bro. Really? You gonna do it again? Yeah. Hey, Shazzy, he's buzzed. He's buzzed. He's, <laughs> he's doing that for you. He's doing that for you because um, he really wants to see you at uh, to live and die in LA. All right, let's see. Huh? Stay back there. Go ahead. Every no no. Close my eyes. Waking up feeling so horny. I can't get you out of my mind. Sexy is all I see. I will give anything just to make you come all night. Fuck. That's it. Fuck. That's all. Long as she comes on your cock, right? Hey. Not me. <laughs> Shazzy, I hope that got you pregnant. <laughs> This is the time. This is the time. This is the time. Once Look. again, if you guys want to hire Norbridge for your wedding, for your quinceanera, or for your divorce party, hit me up at rodianradio.gmail.com or direct and uh, hit my pager and uh, we'll make that happen. Hey. So, okay, let's go ahead and uh, um, let's. Oh, no. We got that pastor, that Driscoll guy, the pastor. The. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Last one, then we can take calls, okay? Even if we got to go a little bit over. Go ahead and put up the last picture, bro. Okay. I have to um, address this because, Norbert. Go for it, man. We talked about the pastor. Alex, can you go ahead and read that caption right there if you're not too buzzed? Because I'm a little buzzed. It says Mark Driscoll. Mark Driscoll. Okay. Was Pay attention. Off, <laughs> was kicked off the stage. Uh, at, at a men's conference for calling out male strippers performance. Okay. So so let me give you guys a scenario. This is a Christian pastor, Mark Driscoll. I've heard about him maybe about 20 years ago, okay? Um and he was asked to speak at a men's conference. At a men's conference. Just all men. They have women conferences. Wait, this is a conferences. Christian man conference. This right? is a Christian man conference. Yes, okay. And uh, one thing, I want to applaud this man for this reason. Yeah, I don't know this man personally, so, you know, I'm not going to front. 
I would love to have him on the podcast. Wait, you really want to applaud this guy? Let me finish, bro. Right. Okay. I do want to applaud this guy, and I'm going to tell you why. Go for it. Because he spoke with boldness. Uh, when they have these men conferences, they have different speakers, Norbert. Yeah. So at the very beginning of this conference, they had a fucking pole dancer. This is a Christian conference to encourage men, to motivate men, to get closer to God. That's about right. Okay. This guy rips off his shirt, shoves a sword down his throat. That's about right. And then climbs a pole. That's about right. Okay. And it was this man, Mark Driscoll's time to speak. And he went up there and pretty much rebuked, denounced what this conference stood for. And he said, pretty much um, in so many words, you got to be deceived by allowing this to happen. So now I want to say this before I read a little bit here. The pastor that was in charge of all this yeah. conference yeah. said this, you're wrong. <laughs> While he was saying, like, you guys are being deceived. Mark, you're done. And he said, I'll accept that, Pastor. So he closed his Bible, walked off, and then he went up there. And the crowd began to boo the pastor for allowing him to walk off. Bro. Wow. Okay. First and foremost, I want to say this. If, say, say, Norbert, that there's a man there that wants to attend this, this Christian conference because he wants to get close to God. Okay. Let's just say he struggled with homosexuality. Mm. And he goes there and he sees this pole dancer. So I that big ass sword. sword and he turns off his shirt. <laughs> he he's over here shirt. fighting temptation when he's going to a men's conference to get encouragement. <laughs> he's definitely not going to be like that one kid. You know, you remember that one video? No. I am delivered. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, so, so, so I give you one scenario, okay? I give you one scenario. That here's a guy struggling with homosexuality. Yeah. He goes and this is what he sees. Shit. Let's just say that. Fuck him up. Let's just say that I'm a, um, Norbert, I'm a uh, strip club owner. All right. And you, being a Christian, you say, Come to my conference, man. My pastor's holding a conference. Yeah. It's a men's conference. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so, I, uh, no, no, it's going to be. It, I just need you to be there. Like, You'll be encouraged. You'll be blessed. Good Christian activities. Yes. And I say, okay. Sure, no, not? but I'll go. I've never been to a Christian conference. Yeah. All men's conference. Yeah. So I sit there. Now, keep in mind, I am the owner of a strip club. Yeah. So I go there and I see a motherfucker swallow a sword. Hey. Tear off his fucking shirt. Oh, and then I start pole dancing. And then I tell you like this, Norbert. Now, I'll, I'll, give me your best answer. And I'm being sincere. Yeah. And I go, Norbert, I'm going to go ahead and leave. You know, because what he's doing, I see the same thing on my club, bro. Thank you for inviting me to your Christian conference, but this is not for me. How would you answer me, bro, if you, if, if you had the audacity? Oh, uh, easy. I, I would have told you, yo, you're a Satan lover. That's why. Satan lover? Yeah, you're a Satan lover. That's why you're leaving. So, so I have to accept the pole dancing and the guy without yeah. the shirt? Even though that goes on in my club? Yeah. It, it, it is either us or, or Satan. But if I tell you, Norbert, and I need you to understand this, okay? Yeah. What they're doing here, I do at my club. It, it doesn't matter. That's not you, what this is in your club. So this I'm is, supposed this to. This is God's club. So I have to watch this here? Yes. No. Okay, Alex. Did you hear my question or no? Mind you, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. He's asking me if I was. Part of that whole No, thing. I'm asking you, bro. No, I thought you were saying if I was part of that. <laughs> you're trying to get out of it. Why bro. would I ask no. you? You're a liar, Why bro. Why would I even be there? You're a liar. No, you can't blame Norby's, man. You'd be trying to trick you're, me with the question. You're a liar, bro. <laughs> Thank you, You Alex. knew damn well Thank what you. I was asking. No, right. I thought you were... Yo, everybody on the live chat, this guy's freaking I lying. I thought was all hypothetical. It's not. What? Why would you ask me that, then? <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Ask me. Now you're trying to play the victim. Okay. Alex, say that you're a Christian, right? Okay. You, you pretend. Now we're play, <laughs> pretending. Okay. I don't do nothing bad, and I don't make fun of people. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so now you tell you invite me to your church, your comp, men's conference, right? Uh-huh. 
Keep in mind, I'm a strip club owner. All oh, men. Uh, I'm a, let's just start right there. Oh my god! No, just, <laughs> what? Isn't that my guy? <laughs> Is that your boy? But go ahead, bro. I'm good. That boy be kicking me. I'm good. You better be kicking me. These two betas right here. There's no getting around them. Okay. There's no getting around them. Anyways, <laughs> I'm done. So. As a matter of fact, I'm going to kick myself off my own show. Okay? So no question. Yeah. No question? No question. Harry. No, I'm good. I'm good. Damn. I'm good. I'm missing out. Yeah. You could tell that these two guys oh, right here shit. slow dance together. Hey, Anyways. Do, do you want to read Super Chats? Or no, just, no, no. I'm not trying to read we're shit. Gonna, we're gonna make I'm calls. not trying to read shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to ask you a motherfucker serious question, and then you guys get cornered, huh, Tony. Well, uh, you didn't explain yourself. I, I did was, explain myself. You didn't say hypothetically. I thought you meant hypothetical. No, you, ain't nobody said hypothetical, bro. That's what I'm saying. No, I ain't nobody said stop, stop, stop. Why stop. would I be there? I'm not a Christian. Anyways, all right, let's take calls. Come on, put you're the number a, up. Put the number up. You're not a Christian, bro. <laughs> no, he's a cosido. So, anyways, let's go. Let's go. I, I can't even think. Look, look, let me tell you guys. If my IQ was low, I would be enjoying all this. But anyways. <laughs> so, if I had a low IQ. Anyways. I have a high IQ, so I'm enjoying this. Bro. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh um, man! Hey, shout out to Shazzy for uh, asking for that. Here we go. That, that go ahead, number. Go ahead. Call hey, your dude. name. Where are you calling from? Lord Bertol, Caesar from Paris. Oh shit, Caesar from Paris. I am. I'm Caesar from Paris. Caesar, I'm actually very, very lit. I think. I think you haven't I, even opened the second fucking beer, bro. bro I, this is my fourth shot yeah. with like one Corona. I've been drinking two. What the? F you you had like two shots and one beer. Eat a hot link. <laughs> Anyways, go. What's up, Caesar? I, I'll second. I'll second that motion. Hey. Uh, Norby's. What a train wreck! What a train wreck! Which part? Now, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what was. I don't know if it was a remix of you putting pussy and ass and putting dick and taint in. Uh, it's fucking <laughs> amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you, sir. You're fucking amazing, I, Norby. I appreciate you know that. What? Keep up. You know Keep up the bad work, but to the 33rd degree, dog, you're fucking owning it. Thank that's you, sir. for real. I appreciate that. Hey, that's Jesus. what, that's what, that's why I'm here, man. That's why I was put on this earth. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's All go. Right, Tonya. <gasps> Hey, Tonyo, and I got to give it to you, bro, for not blowing, uh, not blowing your fucking stack on both of these guys. Alex, I'm usually on your side, homie. Pero cabrón, you day, you're on the line también, and you're on the He's at it. Uh, He's at it. Hey, you, Caesar. Hey, man. Rato, man. I'm six shots in, man. Oh, my God. I can't, yeah, I can't wait. Me. I can't wait to start. You know what? You're all right, bro. You're still good. You're still good. But I'll tell you what. As soon as 28 starts accepting applications, you guys are in trouble. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, not, I'm not even tripping on that. I'm about to go to Al C El Cien, Al Cien and, yeah. and, 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 and throw down on his karaoke tonight. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I, 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 hear, I heard you're going to have a lucrative career in wedding singing, and I, I wish you the best. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that, man. I wish you the best. Hell yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna touch, I want to touch on something, a couple of notes here. Tony, first of all, uh, you're going to have your show. You know, hope you have a good time and all the all the best of luck. But how about this, Tony? Is there any chance in the world possible that you and Mister High C get a new album and oh, throw it out? Shit. You you know, as a matter of fact, High C was here last night, and that's what we talked about, and that's in the, that's in the talks right now. As a matter of fact, after mm. Saturday, uh, we're going to be talking about that because we have a studio now that we can go to where I feel comfortable a dope uh, engineer, and um, yeah, we're in the talks right now, bro. As a matter of fact, I can name my engineer, 
And I have nothing but love and respect for him. And that's Tony G, Tony Gonzalez. Ah, shit. You know, the producer of so many hits. But so many, so many people only know him for La Raza Mentirosa. But he's produced so many hits and engineered so many hits. Uh, Tony G is a legend, bro. So, yeah. I thought you were going to say me for a second. No, as a matter of okay. fact, I'm going to go ahead and say this. For uh, a lot of people know her as Magic Girl, but Genesis, Forever Genesis, he's engineering, like mixing and mastering her project, bro. I couldn't go to anybody else, bro. I couldn't go to anybody else. Tony mm. G is, he's amazing, bro. Hey, so I, I, thought, I thought you were going to say me too, man. I know, right? right? I thought he was going to uh, say, whoa. No. Oh, oh, you, guys thought, you, guys, you guys thought wrong. Anyways, go ahead. Yes, you know what, Tony? You'll go platinum in no time. Go ahead and, and take your Cervantes, Cervantes over here at Norby's. You'll go platinum in no time. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that right. support. Hell you yeah. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Hey, Norby. Norby, yes, sir. Por favor. Yes, sir. Por favor. Yes, sir. You're already, you're already, you're already, you already did your damage. Sir. You already hey. did your damage. Hey. Uh, you know, another, another pinpoint that I did want to uh, say something real quick about this fucking nasty piece of shit lady mm. that had the fucking guts to throw her babies out of the freeway. Yeah. Yeah. The I just want to say it publicly. I want to say it. I want to say it publicly, Tony A here in Rolling Radio, that I wish God would give me the power to go into the depths of hell, take this bitch out, and run her ass face first on the 405 from here to there. Caesar. There's no fucking way. Some, you know what? Go ahead, Norby. Caesar, I asked God the exact same thing. Yeah. Not, not with that not with that situation, but another situation from the back. Uh, another situation from that happened some years back, but uh, when, when I did that, when I asked God for that, I ended up here. Who did you well, ask? Was that the, the <laughs> I asked God. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I don't know. God. I just asked God. God. I asked God. God, let me be your right hand and fucking uh, Escocido. deal with these people that are doing very bad things in this world. And somehow, some way, he, Let's he, he put them. me here. No, 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 no. When when I when I asked, when I asked God this, it was when a mosque got attacked and kids died. When that happened, I. I swear to God, I told God, God, please let me be your right hand. Let me smite these motherfuckers for you. All good. But He's I, buzzed. But, Absolutely, I, man. But, but, I, but I ended up here, and, and you know what? God, God, God knows what He's doing. All good. God knows what He's doing. Go yeah, ahead, my he, bro. He put you on here. He put you on a big. He put you on a big platform. He blessed you on a big platform to talk about things and things. I Amen, sir. It. Amen, You're sir. Blessed. Yes, sir. You're blessed. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll leave it off there. I'm going to leave it off with one more because I haven't done one in a while. Yeah. Here we go, Alex. Get ready for this one. Miss Pac-Man eats her fucking Snickers upside down so she can feel the veiny texture on her tongue. <laughs> These are from Paris, and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Hey, she's from Paris. is fucking brutal. I am buzzed because I said that story. Yeah, I know. I am buzzed. I'm ready to Fuck. send you read this. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Oh, shit. Fuck. Come on, Pinky Weenie. Uh, what did it say? Sing me, sing me Happy Birthday by Marilyn Monroe. Here we go. Call in your name. Or where are you calling from? Absolutely. What's up? What's up, Tony? A? You said Ray Rice. Ray Rice. Doing? Ray motherfucking Rice. Hey. Day one, Hell Ray Rice. What's good, my bro? Yo. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm doing good. I enjoyed the MC8. Uh, interview the other night. That was fucking yeah. classic. Bro. That was classic. Yes, it was. Go ahead, my bro. Would you would you, would you bring would, would, would you bring uh gangster? Would, would is you is you ever going to get gangster D from stepping and down the road and ready on gangster D? Well, I'm going to see gangster D soon, bro. But every time I ask him, bro, I'm going to be real with you. That's my brother, and I love him. Mm -hmm. But he's like, ah, I'll let yeah. you know. That's all he says, bro. Okay. Okay. Mm. You know, I, I mean, I wish I, I could have KK and D together, but D yeah. doesn't, he straight told me, bro, I don't do interviews, but if I decide, I'll let you know. And that's what he said, bro. So I love okay. him, bro. I wish I could have, look, AMG, when he left Inglewood, he moved to Arizona after being like two, three years mm -hmm. in Arizona, he went back home to mm -hmm. Cleveland. That's where he's originally from. Oh. So I, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I told AMG, bro, what am I going to in the podcast? And he was like, this is AMG. Motherfucker, you already have me in a documentary. And I'm like, bro, I want to have you in the fucking podcast. <laughs> you know? But that's AMG. Yeah. So I try hard. But I will say this, okay? 
Okay. Before this year is over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say it first here. Yeah. On. Are you uh, sure you want to say it? Okay. Yeah. Not only uh, News of Norby, but Rodian Radio. I'm going to hey. say this. I'm going to have Warren okay. G here, bro. I'm going to have That's Warren right. G oh, here. I can't wait. Mr. Be- Warren G? Yes, before the year is over, bro. So, yeah. We're about 80% only, locked in. Wait. This DJ, Mr. Warren G? That's Mr. right. Warren G, bro. Oh, so, yes. shit. So, so, yeah, before yeah. the year is over, I'm going to have him here. And I hope you get and I hope you get Dubsy and Mac 10, uh, Dubsy and Mac 10 there. Bro, uh, Dubsy, we're very close, but I'm not going to promise nothing, mm-hmm. but... We're very, very okay. close. That's all I'm going to say, bro. That, that doesn't sound good oh, when you okay. say it like that. Though, well, me. no, let me say this. Because he yeah. said Dubsy and Mac-10. Okay? Uh, so before, if you would ask me, who would you think you get first? I would say Dubsy. Oh, shit. I, you That's know what? Right. I've seen right. his interview. He, he seems like a really cool guy. Real fucking dope, he, dude, He used bro. to fuck a lot with Cypress Hill, right? No, he actually dissed Cypress Hill. Wait, No. I think you got the wrong guy. No, 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 no. He 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 no, he no, was no, big no, no, friends no, no, with uh no. with Send Dog, wasn't he? No, he dis Send Dog. Really? Yes, bro. So did Mac. Yeah, 10. Him, I, I, yeah, Ice Cube and Mac. I thought 10 he stayed away from, from all that. The no, bro, you got the wrong people. Really? So, yes, I'm serious. Wait, didn't 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 Dub C like at one point live with Send Dog or like? No. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they, yes, yes, they did. Yeah, yeah. He said that in the interview, him and uh, DJ Aladdin used to live with Cypher Seal. Yeah. Okay, but you know that's the cool part that Tony Tony knows. The, the, I don't want to get into it too to, much until we did we do the interview. Yeah, bro. yeah, and that, and that's the thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we yeah. there's a there, there's what I love about Rodent Radio is that Tony, you bring us to a place that most fans don't really ever get to be in yeah. because we only see the music. We only see what the news puts out. You bring us the actual backstory. You bring, us, you bring us like what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, if people wanted to know, okay, what does that mean? Go look at that MC8 mm-hmm. video. I mean, you know, the, the MC8 um, um, interview, because my thing is this. I asked yeah. MC8, how does it all begin? Most people just want to say, want to talk about Boys in the Hood, Men in Society, the DJ Quick Beef. Right. I want to talk about how mm-hmm. did it all start for you? How did you meet your producer, DJ Slip? How did you meet the label yeah. owner, you know, uh, uh, DJ yeah. Unknown, Techno yeah. Hop? Uh, how, how did all this start for you? You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then he straight said, yeah. I come from a single mom. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and that's my thing, bro. Yeah, you know it's it's like it hurts me when I talk to a lot of my black friends, bro, because I love them, mm-hmm. and a lot yeah. of them tell me I was raised by my mom, or a lot of them mm-hmm. tell me I was raised by my grandpa, yeah, by my grandfather, yeah, you know, my mm-hmm. grandparents, yeah, mm-hmm. and it hurts me that their fathers are always absent. It, it yeah. hurts. It yeah. hurts. But at the end of the day, at the end, at the end of the day, Tony. Their music inspired us. Their music mm-hmm. made us feel like we're not alone. Mm-hmm. So at the yeah. end of the day, it, it, and, and it ended up becoming a positive thing because well, some of us were lonely and they, and they told us, they showed us, they told us that you're not the only one. No, no, you're right. You're right. bro. And, and that's the one thing that came that if I had to say that was positive about it yeah. is that they let us know that we're not alone. Yeah. No, you're and, right. You're right. And, and yeah. that's and that's why we love them because yeah, they they spoke to us about our lives also. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rodeo Rodeo uh, and Radio is is a better bot is a better podcast than Vlad No Jumper in um in um American Cholo. Thank you, my bro. Thank you, Ray Rice. Thank, Thank you, Ray Rice. Right. Hola. Welcome. Truly appreciate you, my bro. Hell yeah. Anyways, you Ray welcome, Rice, I told you, time. whenever I post a, um, I don't know exactly where you live, bro, but whenever you want to come through, mm-hmm. whenever there's an artist that um, you like, let me know and I'll make it happen, okay. bro. Okay. Where do you stay at, if you don't mind me asking? I stay, I, stay in, I stay in Long Beach. Oh, shit, you're fucking 10 minutes away from me, Hell bro. Yeah. yeah, 10 minutes away. So, whenever you see a flyer, bro, that you like... And like and you're like, okay, mm-hmm. Tone, I want to meet this guy. 
come through, Ray Rice. I'll okay. give you that, bro. Hell yeah. Okay? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Because you were day one, homie, and I got nothing but love for you. Thank you. All right, my brother. I'm going to let you go. Um, once again, oh, okay. uh, stay blessed, my bro, and uh, we'll talk soon. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. You, you do the same, Tony Yang. All right, my brother. Peace. Thanks, Ray. Ray Rice is like, like this guy bought merch. Like, he's been a day one, bro. Yeah, like, much love and respect to him. So here we go right here. You don't see Call her your name I and see. where are you calling from? Thank you. Call her. Yeah, we could hear you. Hey, what's going on, guys? Good, man. What's where are you good? calling from, bro? Yeah, your name and where are you calling from? From uh, Buckeye, Arizona. Oh shit, Arizona. Hell's yeah. Hey, are you gonna be at the car show on Saturday? Yeah. I wish I could, but I gotta work, man. <laughs> oh shit. All, all good, bro. All good. You, you got, got a question, a I comment, a complaint? No, no, no. I just we just hooked up on right now and I was we were listening to the fucking show and we're like my son was like, Hey, let's call if, if we can get on. And right away, bam, I'm going to. Hell yeah. We got called on. Norbeast, I have a complaint. That's my son. My, my, my son. Go for it. Uh, how do you like Taco Bell so much, man? <laughs> you, you know what? <laughs> you, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, with all of you. Taco Bell prices were always very low. And I think I've, I've said it a few times before. That I grew up very poor. Like, my parents had five kids. We were very poor. I mean, we lived in a single with, like, five kids. So, Taco Bell was always there when, like, a graduation happened. And we couldn't go to a nice restaurant to, like, celebrate graduation. So, Taco Bell was always there to feed all of us. I mean, because a restaurant would have cost a lot of money and you got a tip. And everybody else was more expensive than Taco Bell. So, Taco Bell was there to like let us all eat and celebrate and that's why that's why i got love for taco bell just just for you just for you i'm gonna give taco bell a 10 thank you i appreciate that try the japanese sauce he just bullshit man hey norby yes he just bullshit we called in because everybody was fucking calling and whatever i don't know the topic we don't know the topics were but we're like fuck it let's call and Tony, Tony, we're here in Arizona, bro. Um, probably not going to go to the fucking show. And if you want a fucking ticket, hey, we're down. We're down, bro. Like, How's it? I'll give up, bro. Hey, hey um, caller, um, how far are you, are you away from Cardinal Stadium? Like, 20 minutes, 25 Alex. minutes. Okay. Well, I'm going to be at a hotel about eight minutes away from the stadium. Bro, if you're going to go piss, go piss, bro. Stop well, trying to message. I want to be on you. Motherfucker. Uh, I beat that Norby, cabrón. It's the puto. He's going to fucking go drain his small vein. See, see. Anyways. But, um, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, bro, like, if you want to come meet us at a bar, because I'm going to try to watch the Ryan Garcia fight somewhere. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if you want to come through and meet us there, you know, I don't know if you have an Instagram account, you know, you know, message us, um, at least message me on Instagram, bro. And, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have a fucking Instagram account, but there's a, a bar down here in Buckeye. It's okay. called, um, the rooftop and they out, it's called the rooftop. It's like 10 minutes away. Okay. The rooftop. So, like, they always play those fucking, uh, all the uh, fights there for free and shit. Yeah, the bro. If, I'm if down you, and fucking if, you, if you're down to meet there and they got good food, yeah, I'm down, bro. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I'm down Whatever. also. <laughs> yeah, nobody's going to be out there, right? So. Yes, sir. All good, my brother. Thank you for calling in, bro. I truly appreciate you. All right, Tony. Hey, Tony. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. All good, my bro. Thank you, man. AZ, the building. Thank you for calling in, my bro. We're going to take a couple of more calls. We've hey, do you about... remember that? You recall the lyrics for that song, the taco? Taco? 
the one, the meme, the video no. I sent you earlier. I don't remember. Tacos y... How did, Alex, do you remember how it goes? Tacos de caca. Tacos de caca. Tacos de caca. <laughs> hey, I could play that, right? Tacos de caca. I don't think that's coming. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no but go on. Caller, no, your, but... caller, your name, where are you calling from? Yo, it's the homie Kike from the city of Escondido. Ah, oh, shit. What's up, Kike? What's up, motherfuckers? Hey, 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 hey. This, is, this is not that show, Kike. So you're not a motherfucker? Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah when you put it like that, when you put it like that, when you put it like that, okay, I would definitely take that. I I like a good milk from time to time. Hey. <laughs> hey, Boy. nah, uh, I just wanted to piggyback off of what, uh, what Ray, uh, Ray Rice, right, what he said and shit. Yes. Hey, pretty much when it pretty much when it comes to uh, I guess for lack of a better term, these Raza podcast. Yes. Uh, Rodium Radio is the uh, major league when it comes to having these West Coast legends in the house, bro. Hell yeah! Thank you, my bro. Yeah, I truly, truly, truly appreciate that, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully uh, now that I'm talking to you, Tony, hopefully sooner than later, uh, we can get that part two with uh with eight, and um, hopefully we can bring back uh, oh, uh yeah. Mickey Flick too. Mm. Bro, th- bro, l- let me ask you this, bro. Did you enjoy that um, MCA interview, bro? Dude, I fucking loved it, but it just felt it was so short lived, man. Like oh, compared man. to most of the podcasts that you do, that are like two hours plus. There yeah. was it was it was a good intro, bro. But yeah. uh, th- th- there was so much more history to be covered. I mean, the guy goes back to the fucking eighties, man. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what, Kike? I I, I want to say this, bro. Without with all due respect, when he got here. I was surprised when he goes, hey, bro, I got about an hour and I got to leave. And mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, okay, you know, all, all good. Yeah. And I said, we usually do two hours. He goes, no, I, bro, I, I got to leave. He goes, but I'll come back. And he yeah. told me, he yeah, goes, I'll come back. I said, okay, cool. I was just thankful that he was here. Yeah. Okay? And because uh, I usually, out of respect, most people that come here don't ask me. Yeah. You know, like, yo, I got to leave in an hour. Yeah. Like, they'll tell me, like, hey, bro, um, um, I don't want to take calls. Yeah. So we're good. And I'm like, okay, cool. We don't take calls. Yeah. He just told me, you know, I got about an hour and just asked me whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. But I usually do two hours. Can you come back? And he goes, yeah, I'll come back. He has something to do, bro. So I had to respect that, bro. It- but, I, bro, I fuck to sit across from him. Bro, I enjoyed that shit because look, even though I live in Wilmington and Compton's like ten minutes away, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, it's been years since I met. Well, like, MC8, it's bro. not only that, Tony, but you know, MC8 is one of those artists that maybe the younger generation don't know about him. Yeah. So you give like to him also because yeah. I think there was another person that said like. You know, you gave light to a lot of old rappers yeah. that, you know, weren't getting any light, weren't getting any love, and you brought them back. Yeah. And you you showed a new audience people that had some real music. Well, like, for an example, Rest in Peace, Night Owl, Royalty, um, Shadow, Little One. Yeah. Bro, you know what? With all due respect, I shine, I shine light on and I resurrected their careers, but they don't recognize that. Tony, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you, Tony. I Before that, I didn't know who these guys were. I really didn't know who they, they were. I, I had no idea. The only person I knew from San Diego was Lil Rob. That's it. Yeah. Aside from that, I didn't know who these guys were, but because of Rodian Radio, I found out who these guys were. Yeah. They had their hits. They had their jams. And it's only because they came here. Yeah. I mean, somebody said it. Somebody even said it that you, you, you woke up a sleeping giant. You know what? Little Rob was booked three times. Okay, and I'm gonna say this, and I and I hope he hears it. And this is not Norbert a disrespect, but I'm just mm-hmm. laying out facts. We've talked for like two years over the phone. Yeah. Little Rob, I'll be there. Little Rob, when are you coming through? I'll be there. Little Rob, when you. Three times he canceled. Then we went to sitting in the uh, Sunday in the park yeah. last year. Yeah, you gonna come through so I can interview, even if it's for ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. you never showed up. I took that as disrespect, bro. Like so, 
Other than that, bro. Bro, didn't Baby Bash show up? Yeah, he did. Baby bro. Bash. Baby Bash showed up. But Much love to Baby Bash. Yeah. But you know yeah. what? I'll leave it at that. Like, little Rob, I got nothing but love for you, bro. But, like, don't tell me you're going to show up and don't show up. That's all. You know, he told me once to my face. Who's this? Little Rob. Okay. He told me once to my face. If I were to go on to a podcast, it would probably be Rodian Radio. And unfortunately, we didn't really see that. But who knows? You know what? I don't want to say that he's not going to come here. I want to say, well, he just wasn't ready. That's all. That's all. No disrespect. All, all good, my brother. Thank you for calling in, my bro. Definitely. Hey, let me, let me, add, let me add something to that if I may real quick, Go man. for it, man. Because, look, bro. Okay, look. I understand, man. Look, you had your hits. You had your radio play, bro. But uh, as much as I hate to admit it, dog, and this, hey, this is not drawing a line between blacks or Chicanos or anything, bro, but. You mentioned it, man. You you've already you just had MC8, right? Yes. Yeah. You had King T. Mm. You have had Sugar Free, mm. bro. I mean, we're not even we're we're talking from fucking we're talking about from a farm system to the major leagues here, bro. Mm. And ninety nine percent of the motherfuckers that keep canceling this shit or these fucking new age divas too, bro. These new generation of youngsters are fucking up too, man. Mm. They got to take these opportunities and shit, man, because Rodium Radio. Is an archive and a library for West Coast hip hop history, Facts. man. Facts. These motherfuckers got to get that shit through their head, bro. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, bro. Like, I, I got that mother say, look, look. Like, I got that mother that you open the door and, and they don't take advantage of these opportunities, bro. Look, let me say something, bro. But, I mean, it's, look, I need to say something, and this is not a diss. This is just facts. That rapper CNG. His manager hit me up about three weeks before the so-called interview. Yeah. So, hey, would you interview CNG? And I said, no. Why not? Because we reached out to him twice mm. and no response. Well, I'm his new manager. We'll make it happen or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The only reason why I accepted that, because that was my son's friend. Oh. My son be scandalous. Shout that was my son's friend. Yeah. And he said this, I'm his manager. I'll make it happen. I said, okay. And I said, okay, bro. I don't even have his manager's number. Yeah. So every time I talked to him, it was through my son's phone. Yeah. So he called, bro, we're coming out with a song called Mud. And we're doing this. We're doing this. And I was not too fond about CNG. If I can help, I will help. Yeah, of course. Okay? So I said, okay, cool. Send me the song. He sent me the song. We're going to do this. Send me his picture so I can promote the flyer. Yeah. Cool. The day of, he cancels, and I already knew. Yeah. So I told his manager, look, let me tell you something, bro. I already knew he was going to do this, but you better come here and show face. And shout out to him because yeah, he showed face. he did. He did. Shout, you got to respect that. Okay. But now I want to say one last thing. I said, it's, keep me posted when he can come here. Since that day, I haven't talked to him. Damn. Okay? So, my thing is this. This guy, CNG, I don't know who he is. I never heard his music. I'm not going to lie, Tony. I, I actually not have heard any So, of here's his my music. thing. Not to disrespect him, yeah. but my thing is like, bro, you don't disrespect somebody that's been in the game this fucking long yeah. who is willing to give you a platform, you know? So my thing is just like, bro, if you're his manager and you're watching, yeah. my thing is this. Uh, with all due respect, the way he's treated me, I don't care to have him here no more. But you know what? It's crazy, though, because... Do you hear me what I said? Yeah, yeah, I heard what you said. What did I say? What did I say? That you wouldn't have him on here. Anymore. Anymore. Yeah, we're good. But I'm saying is that had he come here... I would have, I would have known about him. Mm -hmm. I would have known about his music. You guys would have known about his music, but because an artist chose other platforms and they didn't choose Rodium because Rodium has a very big yeah. following. We don't know about him. I don't know. I still don't know about him. And because he didn't come here, I didn't even try to go and look yeah. for hey, what well, he has. Well, can I say this? Go ahead. Go ahead. That I low key knew he was probably gonna do that. Okay. From the beginning, because um, I remember him back in the days um, talking shit in the live chat, you know, or oh, really? or somebody representing him talking yeah. shit about us in the live chat. So, 
So ever since then, I, I'm I, when you said he was coming, yeah. In my mind, I was like, that guy. I'm like that fool was talking shit about us. Well, the thing you is, know? like this, we I mean, we reached out to him twice, and he and I'm not dissing. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, just saying you're stating facts, bro. Yeah. Bro, I sit here and watch the live chat all day, yeah. bro. So here's yeah. my thing: when people like that act like that, you know what I say? No, but don't support those people. Don't support them because those people. Depend on our people, our raza, support them. When they don't give our people what our people want, don't support them, bro. Well, yeah, you're right. Because at the end of the day, you know, all of you guys that are watching right now, all of you guys that are watching the the replay, you guys are the ones that make these people famous. That's all. You guys are the ones that give these people so, their reputation. Yeah, Without well, you, these people don't have nothing. Absolutely. Anyways, call it. Go ahead, bro. Hey, let me let me finish it off with this point, man. Yeah. Rodium Radio has some of the best fucking off the dome fucking freestyle spinners, and these other fucking Rata podcasters fucking can't even come with a decent written, bro. And I'm mm. just gonna leave it at that. Mm. All good, my bro. They can't stop drinking and, and taking mushrooms. Hey. But anyways, all good, my bro. Thank you. Have a good one, bro. A peace. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, bro. You know, and that's the thing, bro. A lot of these guys believe social media like if it's fucking real. Anyways, let's go. Hey, Tony, wait. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Uh, Enoch from Oxnard. Enoch? Enoch. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. We hear you. Oxnard. Okay. Hey, it reminds me that you guys were talking about how people cancel on you guys. Yes. It reminds me how people run for, for certain council members and don't show up for the meetings, right? <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. You're right. <laughs> it, does, it, does re- it does remind me of that. You know what? I'm glad you pointed that out. I'm glad you pointed that out. Go, please elaborate on that. No, just, you know, people run for neighbor council and then they only show up for like one or two meetings, right? And they don't show up no more. And they get kicked out. <laughs> wow. It's, you know what? That's very embarrassing that you would run for some position and then all of a sudden, you know, not show up. You know, caller, do you know anybody that they got kicked out? Uh, Yeah, but I'd rather not see names right now. Oh. Well, look, it's, it's, it's well known who it is. Yeah, it's very um, well known. Yeah. Somebody oh, just, in the northern part of Hollywood. Yeah, just say it, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead and say it. It's all right. Tell you said it's okay, okay it's um it's American Pooper. Oh, American Pooper, aka American Cholo, right? Uh I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that then. We'll leave it at that, bro. Thank you, bro. Hey Paul, can I do something else? Um Norbis, I saw that you posted something about Ecuador and Mexico. You remember that? Yes, I did. I so did. They got raided? Yes. Yes. The Mexican uh the Mexican embassy got raided by the Ecuadorian Police department. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? They had a meeting, all the countries in Latin America. I think it was called CELAC. I'm not sure, but yes. um, they all all the countries voted in favor of Mexico, except for one. It was El Salvador. And you know what? Interesting, huh? It is interesting, but you know what? I get it. I get it. Uh, the guy from El Salvador, the president from El Salvador, he... At the end of the day, the way he runs his country is very much the way he, the United States runs its country. So I can see why he didn't want to vote for Mexico. And instead he wanted to just vote. Uh, was, what was the phrase? For for that? No, no, no. He didn't vote for Ecuador oh, okay. either. He, he abstained. He abstained. He abstained from voting. He abstained from voting. And, and it's understandable. And- and you know what the, the the Mexican president he said himself he's not trying to fight with anybody. If the if the president from El Salvador decided he wanted to go that route, that's fine. He 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 doesn't have any hate. He doesn't have any. Uh, wrap it up. Wrap it. Wrap it up. As far as we know, you know what, and that's all good. That's yeah. all good. He if it, well, the way he runs his country is fine because you know what, the AMLO knows that the. The people from El Salvador are happy, and that's all he really cares about. Okay. That's it. That's it. But you know what's crazy, bro? Yeah. Samuel, he gave money to El Salvador. Like he 13, gave money 30 to million? Them, and now they just turned their back on him. Yeah. That's okay, man. 
That's okay. You know why? Because AMLO believes he he's a he's a pacifist. He wants El Salvador to win, and he's not gonna put him in a spot where like you you really did that to us. All right, fuck you then. He's not gonna do that to them. Yeah. I'll just end with this. Um, you know the saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions? Yes. That's a good example of a that's toddler. A, that's good. That's all I got. Thank that, you for taking my okay, call. That was good. That, that was good. Gentlemen. Thank you, man. Appreciate Thank that. Thank you. That you was know, a very good one right there. There we are. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Mexico, Central America, South America. I love y'all. Nah, I mean. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me do this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Do cool. we have more calls or no? We're good. We're good, bro. What do you mean we're good? We're good. Like, stop. Like we're good. Good. We're Gucci or oh, we're like we, we can take these off. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys, I'm like like a little bit drunk right no, now. No, you're not. We're halfway there, Tony. Are you ready to sing again? I'm ready to sing again. What do you have, Tony? Okay, here we go. Don't say tierra from together because don't say together from tierra. <laughs> together, babe. Oh, don't put Brandon Woods in there or war. Um. Wait, the, the well, you know what? Let's read the super chats be, while you're thinking of no, a song. No, no, I'm good. Alex, super chats. Yeah. Let's go because I'm done. They wanted um, Norby's to sing. Uh, Freaking You by Jodeci. We did that. We did that. Okay, <laughs> okay so the next one is Banffy. He dropped 199. He didn't say nothing. Hey. And he's a member on top of that. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, Shazzy, Shazzy H-Town dropped uh, $2. He said, Norberto, ven, ven conmigo, estoy lista. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, Pinky Weenie dropped 199. He said, Sing me happy birthday, Marilyn Monroe style. Mm. And, um, let me see. Enrique Ledesma said, How are you going to get fired on your day off? Hey, 199. That's all it. good. Okay, um, no shout outs. Let's go. I, I'm gonna do a song. Let's go. What song is this? Uh, Pinky Weenie. It's Pinky Weenie, right, Alex? Yeah. All right, Pinky Weenie is uh, Happy Birthday, Mr. President by Marilyn Monroe. You better sound like Marilyn Monroe, bro. If not, me and Alex are going to jump your ass. <laughs> We're going to run the Yeah, then jump me. We're going to hey, run the fade like yeah. all these fucking fake-ass podcasters. Let's go. All right, it goes, um, Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, Mr. President, for all the things you've done, the battle that you've won, the way you deal with U.S. Steel and our problems by the ton. We thank you so much. Everybody, happy birthday. Really? Do you, do you really think you sound like Marilyn Monroe, bro? No. No, wait. Do you have your volume up? No. 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 no, I don't. Wait. The I fuck? hear something, though. Well, there's probably the headphones. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, yeah, there, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, all right, all, right, all right. Any other songs you guys want me to sing before we go? Other than that, no, no, you're ah. just dying to sing. That's what it is. Hey. You're just dying to sing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Hey, shout out to Alcien Angel. He's doing karaoke tonight. If you guys want to see, see me sing, I'll be at Alcien. Oh, tonight? Maybe. What time is it right now? It's like 10.36. I think Angel is still doing his karaoke. Okay, I'm gonna hit him up. Hit him up. Hit him up. We'll, we'll, we'll go do. We'll, we'll, we might shoot something for the members right there. Not mean. Hey. Okay. Um. Other than that, Norbert. I do not mean Juan Gabriel. What song? Desde que te conocí. Let's see. No, no, you're not gonna see Tony. 
No, let's see. No. Don't fucking brag about it. I'm going to brag about it and keep people in suspense about it. Hey, did I just rhyme? Fake ass fool. I think I just rhymed though. Anyways. Hey. Anyways. I'm bust. All right. <laughs> Say it again. Say it I'm, again. I'm bust. Okay. You know I'm bust when I fucking. Okay. I'm going to tell you, give shout outs. Do not give a speech. We have another. No, no. I don't give a fuck. Sing Shout el, outs. Sing El Diario del Borracho. We got a super chat. No, 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 no. Tony, we got a super chat. No, shout outs. Let's go, Alex. Let's go. Shout you out. You going to call me Alex? No, shout outs. Bro, we got a super chat. Shout outs. Let's go. <laughs> All right. My, my bad. Hey, shout out to the live chat. I love you guys. You guys are, you guys are always making the live chat fun. And I tell people, nobody podcast is successful without a live chat because you guys make it entertaining. You guys keep people talking. You guys roast each other. You guys roast me. You guys roast Tony. And that's all in love. At the end of the day, you guys are part of this community, part of us. I love all you guys. And I thank you for watching us, letting us entertain you. News with Norby's is uh, is very special because you guys tap in on your days, and I appreciate you all of you. Aside from that, I appreciate all of you guys that call out these cocksuckers and fucking prank call them. I swear to God, when I listen to these prank calls, it I, I laugh my ass off. You have no idea how much I laugh my ass off. But aside from that, shout out to the members, shout out to subscribers. Especially every single person that hits the like button. So do me a favor. While I'm literally talking right now, hit that like button. Let the algorithm do its thing by you guys doing your thing. Aside from that, you know, shout out to Tony. Shout out to the whole crew. Shout out to uh, everybody. You know what? Thank you. Okay. I appreciate you. All right. Um, just know that every time you hit the like button, his zipper goes down a little, a little notch. So just know that, okay? That um, if you guys are interested in Norbert, we're um, gonna lose likes. No, hold on. Ah, uh, if, if, if you guys are interested in Norbert, hit him directly. Avoid me, okay? Avoid me. Wait, but you're still managing me for the wedding singing thing, right? Not if Mel. <laughs> I, I do a mean tierra. Look, yeah. Look, let me tell you something. If you guys need uh together Darby's to do uh to be a wedding singer, hit me on roaringradio.gmail.com or on my DM and I'll I will have him book many guys that come to you. Like he will do that at your wedding. Or if you guys are going through a bad breakup or a divorce, hit me and he will show up. Like this guy is like he's really in there. Okay? I will. I will. So if it wasn't awkward in the beginning, it's going yeah. to be awkward at the end. Yeah. So other than that, um, I got nothing but love for you guys. Much love, much respect to everybody. Bro, I got you a fucking fresh bottle. Why do you keep sipping on the fucking empty bottle, bro? This guy's fucking done. faking it, bro. <laughs> I wasn't This guy done. wants to suck, soak up the suds. No, no. You, so, you can literally yeah, do the replay. Anyways. Hey, you can say, Anyways, exactly. Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise, the Hip Hop Jedi, <laughs> Marvelous Inc., News with Norbies, oh, yeah, my son be scandalous. We're selling smarts. We're selling hey, Forever hey. Genesis. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> we, we go, went, Alex. Go, we, go, go, go. We went back in a word. We're selling smogs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm selling smogs. So. <laughs> Fuck. What's up, man? Tap in. You know, everything went up, unfortunately. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this depends about the price, but yeah, we do smogs. Spencer. All right, late. 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 This, this is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. This, this, this. this is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking news. This is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang capital of the nation. 